Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration, shall we? Uh, and I did just a little bit off screen. Uh, all I've done really is fill out this cargo rocket full of stuff to bring with us to, uh, what's it called again? Granis. Granis is our Mercury. Um, so we're going to have uh, sort of a mole block here, uh, which is going to receive incoming resources from the other planet, and auto-craft whatever we forget if we still have the, um, the prerequisite resources. This is a one-shot auto-crafter with a memory cell, which uh, basically I can tell it that I want to make 10 chemical plants, flick this on and off, and it'll pulse it into the memory cell, and it'll build exactly 10 chemical plants. Zetius, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, and we've got the, uh, the same thing we did on, uh, on Hagen with the construction train, except I'm only going to use one cargo wagon. It's going to make it easier in a couple of ways. Um, mostly just the fact that we can turn the train around if it, if it goes to a dead end. Um, we could also figure out exactly what's in the cargo wagon with circuit logic since we're not, uh, you know, from here we can only read the contents of the entire train. Um, but yeah, let's get started with this. Um, what I am delivering from Hagen, unless I think of something a bit different, is 10k iron, steel, and copper, 5k concrete, a bunch of rail signals, um, electronic components, pump jacks, cliff explosives. Maybe we could use some more cliff explosives. Nah, I'm sure we can make them. Um, by the time we take all this stuff. Uh, belts, storage tanks, uh, train stops, a bit of signal transmission, atmospheric condensers because we'll need to make rocket fuel, uh, some chests, power poles, and steel beams because they're basically just twice as dense as steel plate. We Most of our steel plate ends up going to steel beams. Uh, and, of course, some bots as well. So hopefully we haven't forgotten anything there. Bonian, I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so without further ado, let's launch this at Granis Landing Pad. It says there's three of them. Oh, here it is. Um, this one should probably be called Ice... Or something. Um, I think we have this one fully automated to send it there. Destination position ice. On Granis. Launch on cargo full. Seems good. And then these two are called Granis landing pad, but I've got items in this, so it'll definitely go to this cargo landing pad. All right. Granis, Granis landing pad, launch trigger manual, we're full. Uh, we think we've got everything. Without further ado, let's launch a rocket. And hopefully this will be more than enough to build our little outpost out here. Um, my only goal here is to get a flow of core fragments and have everything run itself. I might do a bit of direct vulcanite mining early on so that we get a better volume to start with. Then again, vulcanite is really terrible uh, stack density. The core fragments are not great stack density, but 
considering all the processing and different products that come out of it, um, it's actually not that bad, um, relatively. Especially once you start giving it productivity modules. Alright, let's get 50 bots into this logistic network. And some construction bots. We need a nice big buffer chest. Um, for that I need some red and green circuits. What else are we missing here? Programmable speaker. I need iron and copper. Oh, we were actually really low on iron. And a few green chests. Good morning, no mouse, game to relax. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, we need some power over here. So the bots can start storing all this crap. I don't know about that being where we keep the cargo rocket sections though. How about... How about I get them to move that? There we go. Okay. Uh, and what are we doing next? I haven't actually done this train stop here. That's going to be for dropping a, a vanilla train that brings trash back here. Well, not trash. Recycles stuff back into the mall, like this stuff. Uh, return to mall. Let's see. Give me those train stops. And I think I already named this Constructo Train Emptier. That's definitely not what we need. Uh, mall returns. And then... Locomotive? I don't think I sent any more locomotives. Do I have any on this planet? Or do I need to handcraft one? Uh, zero. Okay. Probably should have thought of that. I think we've got multi-cylinders. Uh, we do. And... Steel plate, iron gear, electronic circuit. Give me that steel. Okay. We'll be needing a locomotive here, a cargo wagon here, locomotive here. I can't remember if I set a... oh, I did. Return to mall. Wait, what? Mall returns. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, can I actually copy this train? It might be better. And let's see. Satellite view. Uh, that's fine if it doesn't snap into position, I guess. Do I have to craft wire for that? I have question about wires and everyone tells me that they are free and understand that they are free in blueprint, but my question is how do I connect one box to pole individually? Uh, one box to pole? As in a container? Uh, you need red or green wire. And if you have the Navsat view in space exploration, you can use that to get free wire. Um, otherwise you'll have to... you'll... You'll either need to, like, copy-paste it from an existing... You can use a blueprint or you can use a copy-paste. That wire is free, even if I didn't have the navsat. Um, but to get a bit of wire done initially in vanilla, you'll physically need some wire. That solves it, thanks. No worries. You're welcome. Um, okay, we're still handcrafting this train. We'll need some 
some more chests. Actually, we should probably have requested chests for the uh, solid rocket fuel. Because we don't want that going anywhere else. Once it's been reserved to be placed in a, in a train. Um, and then this is... This is dropping off everything, actually. So I think I'll use a bulk rail unloader. Uh, can we get some... Do we actually have no solid rocket fuel here? Uh-oh, I have ten on me. Solid rocket fuel... Uh, we have ten on the entire planet. Okay, maybe that is the first thing we should work on. Um, I do have a rail block for making solid rocket fuel. Uh, let's see. Probably a good idea to put it right next to... Is that going to be on, in the way of the... I might have to remove this piece of rail. Or I could just put this somewhere else. Like here. I'm not going to bother mining that little bit of copper there. Um... On second thought, I could put it right next to the mall. Or, yeah, right next to the trains as well. But it's going to be using it. Alright, basic solar rocket fuel. This one's not going to be in the way of anything. Fantastic. Um, can we get the atmospheric condensers? To start with, could you please show, explain how you move tags on the map? Uh, sure. Just go to the map, click on add tag, it's over here, and then clicky click, put that there. Unfortunately, we can't move it around very easily um, once it's done. We have to delete it and then make another one, but that's basically it. So, like, solid rocket fuel is getting made here. Um, this is a depot for double-length trains. So I'm going to put that there. This is our mall. I like to use the info signal to represent the mall. This is crude oil. Or rather, oil processing in general. We're actually getting... Oh, we, we haven't done anything with this yet. Um, we're going to have to add a water drop-off. I think I already thought this through, whether or not it would be easier to have an ice drop-off or a water drop-off at our train stops. And I'm on the side of water drop-off for two reasons. Um, unless the throughput is very high for water, in which case we probably shouldn't be doing this on a waterless planet, but, um, we can, we can easily use our existing, uh, rail blocks that have water drop-offs if we, uh, oh, we already did this, yeah. Uh, if we have water available for pickup, that should be water provider. Um, but also, uh, if we have any builds that need to recycle water, we don't want the containers to be completely full, and trains do that, like, automatically. Thanks for the explanation, you're welcome. LSF, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, we need a fluid wagon. We also need to build all this stuff over here. Although, I definitely know where I'll be stealing rail from if we run short. Alright. 
bit more over here. We need some... quite a lot of huge storage tanks, actually. Thankfully, I did bring a lot of huge storage tanks. Um, let's let the bots take our coal and stone away first. And huge storage tanks. There's still 97 in here. I think we'll be fine. I hope I brought delivery cannon chests. I don't think I did. Oh well. Uh, we need a couple of fuel refineries. A couple of delivery cannon chests if we don't already have them. We do. We have 50. Fantastic. I did actually bring them. Come to think of it, the um, cargo rocket is probably being filled up with all of the same stuff again. And tentatively, I don't mind if that happens. Just let the autocrafter go for it. Hello, hello. GPD uh, Dilka. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Did I pick up the delivery cannon chests? I did not. Fantastic. Did this blueprint not include power poles? I guess not. Let's just steal them from here. Oh, and we definitely want the liquid rocket fuel production tagged onto it as well. We need another four or five fuel refineries, if we're going to have a good ratio here. And it looks like we're missing pipe, pump, and that's basically it. Let's go get some train signals as well. Pipes and pumps. Here they are. And where are our train signals? Oh, they're not out of here yet. Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I do wish I could clear away the debris that's left, even after we pick up all the rocks and place down some kind of floor, but what are you going to do? Alright, so we are looking for light oil and iron plate. Hmm. We could do some iron mines here. Or I could make iron available from, from the mall. Or I could send iron plate directly to this delivery cannon chest uh, if we don't end up with anything else that needs it in the long run. It's the only solid that we drop off here. Remove all... Decorations when placing floor top. Oh, it's a mod. Nice. Good call. Thank you. I'll have a look at that. Say the line. There's a mod for that. Alright, let's move our train. Uh, I'll give it all. I've only got nine solid rocket fuel. That's literally more than a tenth of my remaining, uh, more than a fifth of my remaining fuel if I give a little bit to this train. Um, but I did just build 
uh, the s s solid rocket fuel design. Um, we need light oil, which for which we need oil in general. Um, I think I think we'll put off the uh, the vanilla train. We'll start with a oh. We've already got a couple of fluid wagons. Okay. Um, and they should already have some fuel. And I didn't give them much. But considering this will provide us with liquid rocket fuel, I'll allow it this time. Um, so it's one to one. This will make 116 solid rocket fuel. Wait a sec. It'll happen twice as fast if I if I put it in here. Okay. And why is LTN not scheduling water? Let's see. Because it's got a provide stack threshold. Provide threshold fifty K. And we need to make, we also need to make a drop off for the water as well. Okay. And I think I'll do this on both sides because while water consumption in this block won't be that fast, it won't be terribly slow either. I could actually put this here. And it will be a bit faster than if it had extra pipe. And then we're just gonna link water down to here. It doesn't actually go anywhere. And I guess we could link these as well. Now we need... LTN to know what's in these containers. And we just need to request water 150k. And we should see a delivery scheduled in a few seconds if I've done that right. Also, we should allow a short train, theoretically. There we go. Alright, so that's our water. What about crude oil? I don't actually have the pump jacks built yet. Um, so let's do that. I think the best place to start will be here. Let's get some rail blocks. North slash south. Does that fit properly? Uh, yes it does, I think. I should really add some one-off intersections to this as well. Alright, I think I'm already carrying, I am not already carrying the pump chucks. Let's go get them. I love how the volcanic biome looks. Favorite part of alien biomes. It's definitely not bad. It's the part. Uh, let's grab ourselves... Can I get a lamp? Give me some glass. Uh, let's grab ourselves those pump jacks. And I th think we have everything else. I didn't send rail, uh, but we've got everything we need to make a lot of rail. In fact, why don't we demonstrate the auto crafter here? So I'm going to order it to make me exactly 1,000 rail. Uh, we need to pulse that into the memory cell. And then we're going to set... Uh, once Crafting Combinator mod updates, which it does, uh, we're going to set the recipe and we're going to set the uh, 
request a chest items to whatever the recipe is asking for. Um, I really wish we could multiply the input's results by some flat amount, or just set it to limit it to one stack of each input. But unfortunately, we're pretty much stuck with... Set the strengths of the output signals to be a different number. Can be used with either multiply results of by input count and divide results by product count. What? Huh? I haven't read this that closely before. Take the resulting recipe signals, divide the strength by how much the searched for item or fluid it produces or consumes, effectively outputting how many times the recipe needs to be crafted to obtain or process? Is it just me, or is this really poorly worded? Alpon, El Pancho, Koha, uh, Craftworks, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um, it actually seems to be keeping up, though, even though we're only requesting two stone and one steel, uh, one steel beam. Okay, it's not quite keeping up, but it's, like, fairly decent, because the bot ch trips are so short. Um, let's take this rail with us, and see what we can build. Alright. Oops. Oh no, I've run out of solid rocket fuel already. Oh no. Um, can I make a... Fuel processor, I can. Give me some coal. And we're going to put down a fuel processor. Throw all the coal into the fuel processor. And then we'll be able to fly again. Alright, so... This is where our blocks want to be. Let's bring this over here, I think, and we'll get rid of all of this. Keep that roundabout. Get rid of all of this for now. And that'll be about that. And away go all the bots. Okay. How much fuel do I have? I can't see it. There it is, 21. Does it consume jetpack fuel? If I... Yes, it does. If I hover in place. Um, but I was hovering in place because the bots would forget what they were doing when I switched. Alright, let's place down our fuel processor, shove all the coal in there, stone goes in the trash, and place our objects. Fantastic. Um, now how are we going to lay this out? I think we'll have a... Maybe we'll have a train stop come all the way to here. Even more stone. Oh, I don't have any more rail. Whoops. That ran out quicker than expected. Oh, because I placed all of this. That's why. Alright, give me this processed fuel... And I'll take back some stone to make more rail. Back to...
to the mall. I really should have brought a bit more fuel so that we could travel easily while getting this going. Uh, let's drop off all of our stone. Should probably have another one of these over here. Um, except... No, wait. I'll have the construction bots empty this one. And we might need some more storage chests. I don't know. We've got 25 times 48 versus... 1220 stacks. Uh, it's actually super close. We've got a couple of storage chests over here as well. That should be fine. Alright, let's grab this rail. And... Build the rest. We hope. Let me just put this here so I can see how much fuel we have. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't particularly want to waste water. So to fix this, I'm going to have to pump it. Hmm. If I summon a train here until inactivity, I could probably just pump it like this. Let's see. Come to here. Wait for inactivity. And then come to here. Wait for inactivity. And then I'll add the circuit logic to check for which type of fluid we're looking for. There we go. Using a train as a piece of pipe, Lamau. Didn't even have to place a single piece of pipe or anything temporarily. Hopefully it can actually suck out all of the water. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical of that. I'll turn off the constant combinators for now, and we'll come back to this in a minute. Razor K, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Make sure we get all this rail. So JMO, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I leave the fuel processor here? I did. Shove the coal in there. And we should have everything we need to plan this out properly now. Um, I think we'll put the train stop around about here. Can I fit a huge storage tank? I cannot. Maybe I'll just move it back a little bit more. Alright, so we're going to have huge storage... Pumps going directly to fluid wagons. Provider station. Train stop is in. The, oh, it's a vanilla train stop. Uh, there we go. It wasn't until I started my own K2SE. Uh oh. Short trains permitted. 50k threshold. And what's the best layout for our pipes and stuff? I kind of want to connect them here if I can. Except these are going to have to merge. That's actually going to line up pretty well. It's actually going to line up very well. These two, not so much. It's fine. And like so. And then we'll get some undergrounds. And... 
It's going to be a little bit neater. Fewer pipe sections, better flow. We could put a pump there if we really need to, but I don't think we really need to. Uh, lighted substations. I'm going to go here. And can we actually fit all of these under three substations? I don't think so. Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? One isn't connected? Yeah, I'm trying to find a way to make it work with, uh, nope. with this many but I don't think it's going to happen. Let me just fix my inventory here. Uh, what if this was closer? And then... And then... Uh, it, it's, it's not going to happen. One off... It was good, updated some science stuff, made progress toward emocyte processing. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need more. Or just a big pole over here, I guess. Okay. Big pole over this way as well. Well, be a couple. Uh, have some coal. It's actually not enough for another piece of fuel. Why are we bonking? No power pipe? Power pipe? What's a power pipe? Oh, there's this one that's not connected. Uh, how about this? Is that it? Seems good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and then let's tell LTN what we've got. And that should be it. Uh, crude oil pickup. And once that hits 50k, which is taking a bit longer than I expected, um, we'll schedule a train. Now to fix our accidental water drop-off. Why is this not emptying? Water 0, 0.0. Oh, it's still throughputting. Oh, I think it literally just finished. Uh, apparently there's still 1k water on this side. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not going to empty all of the water that we accidentally put in here. But it'll get close enough that <laughs> fluid system contents is 0, 0.0 water. Okay then. Um, I guess that's close enough to completely emptying the water. Let's connect the logistic train stop output to our pumps. And we're going to say... Uh, we're looking for a negative one for whatever signal, uh, for w whatever fluid type the train is trying to drop off. So we're just going to say less than zero. And then I'll just fix this station name. We're dropping off water as well. Switch that back on. That station terrifies me? What's wrong with it? It's almost 3 a.m. here, planning on participating in monkeys. Alright, take care, Burkers. Thanks for the raid again. Typing on iPad? Fair enough. Uh, Alright, we have a train scheduled. It is bringing crude oil already. Fantastic. Uh, once it arrives at this station, the logistic train stop output is going to output negative one crude oil. 
uh, we're connected the pumps directly to that, so we're going to say crude oil is less than zero, therefore activate these two pumps. Head-to-head -head stations feels wrong? You mean like this? Here comes our oil. Beautiful. And that means we have light oil, which means we will have solid rocket fuel. Um, although I haven't actually got an iron supply for it just yet. We're probably very short on... I could actually check how much... Uh, how many chain signals are we looking for for the whole planet so far about 315 that's not as many as I was expecting if we don't already have it I'll get the auto crafter to add some we've definitely already got enough we, we brought 1.5k do you think that was a little bit overboard Um, where did I... I left it here. The fuel processor. Nope. Oh my god. Stop giving me stone. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Okay, I'm just gonna disable my RoboPort for now. No such thing as overdone in Factorio, only that the rest of the base is underdone. Indeed. Alright, so we want a LTN provider station that can take things from the mall. We want a vanilla drop-off station that'll bring stuff like uh, cargo rocket sections to be recycled and used here. Um, did we not bring any basic inserters? We did not. That's fine. I only need a handful. Literally four. Let's drop off the trains, bulk loaders. Oh yeah, I was going to make this a bulk because it's for dropping off. And we're going to put a purple chest here. Uh, what's next? I'm just going to throw logistic bots into storage for now. Same goes for construction bots. Don't need this many inserters on me at all times. Um, yeah, I, I definitely will have trains pick stuff up from the mall here, so I'd like the station to be close to all this storage, though. Let's see. I'll probably, I'll definitely copy what I have over here for an automatically filled cargo rocket. Then again, the only thing I want to send back with a cargo rocket is core fragments. So maybe not. Maybe not. Just trying to decide where I want to place this pickup. Uh, I guess we could extend this rail down here. We can always move it. So we're going to have a LTN train stop. We're going to have a single requester. Um, I could do a big one. 
Yeah, I brought these resources over. Why don't we do a big one? We can't quite fit it here, though. Unless I move the cargo landing pad, which is a bit of a pain at the moment. I mean, we are trying to empty it. Hmm. Why don't we just empty it and then we'll move it a bit? We're not going to be sending stuff uh, that often. Don't care if the bots have to travel ever so slightly further. How many stacks is this? 177. There's definitely enough room in these chests here. So first of all, I want a requester chest. I think I already did this on Hagen, actually. Yeah, this is it. So I could just go ahead and copy that, actually. Uh, but basically we've got a requester chest that is going to read from logistic train stop output. We're using the uh, read logistic network contents to tell LTN what's in, uh, what's available to the train station. And then we've just got some circuits to control input quickly and accurately. So we're going to put this about here. Once we get this out of the way. Any second now. Oh, have we got liquid rocket fuel yet? Uh, solid rocket fuel, sorry. We've got 25k light oil. We're just waiting on processing it. Before there's enough to trigger a pickup. Our train is out of fuel, though. <laughs> At least one of them is. Um, how much coal do we have lying around? Quite a lot. Let me go get the uh, processed fuel thing. The fuel processor. Good morning. Going for Vulcanite today, I see. Indeed. Mass Lander. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're just going to have a little short walk of shame, and there's a whole stack of resist fuel, actually. And I'll just put this here. Uh, let's see, requester, or how about a buffer? And then, or, or a pair of buffers. We're just going to limit this to processed fuel equals or less than a hundred. And request coal. Fantastic. And I'll add a little request for myself processed fuel for the moment. Where is my processor? There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go give our train some fuel again. And I might just ride it back, actually. Did I place all those signals? I don't think I did yet. Give me the processed fuel. Wait, I thought I... Oh, my requests are switched off. Well, there's your problem. Okay, we can now move our cargo landing pad. Uh, I was going to put it here, actually. Can we pick 
put all these this somewhere else. Cargo landing pad can go approximately here. And then our train station that's gonna oh come on. Our train station that's gonna offer everything to LTN that's in our robot network is gonna go here. We need some circuits. Um, do I have combinators lying around? Combinator... Uh, it looks like the answer is only on my person, but I didn't realize my bots were switched off. What mod allowed you to nudge like that? It is called Picker Dollies. Addison Huff, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So anything that's in the logistic network that has more than... How many stacks? I think we're missing a piece here. Uh, provide stack threshold of one. That might be bad. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, everything available to the logistic network... Uh, everything in the logistic network will be available to LTN here. Although, I definitely want to be absolutely sure we don't... Oh no, I forgot. It doesn't matter if we feed it negative signals. As long as we don't give it a request threshold that can be reached. Picker dollies, indeed. Okay. So that should provide iron um, straight from the mall to this stop up here. And there's our solid rocket fuel. Fantastic. And it looks like we're waiting for a whole train load of solid rocket fuel before we make liquid rocket fuel. I think that's probably fine. Um, we are running our... We'll be running our trains on solid rocket fuel. Solid. All caps. Uh, let's see, 40 stacks, 400. We can go a little higher than that. Short trains only at this stop. And now we actually need some short trains. So let's make a depot for that. Gonna need to go get some more rail, not to mention train stops. This rocket fuel has been hitting the gym and is solid, <laughs> indeed. All right, can I... Can I limit stone to like one stack with auto? doesn't seem to be working. Oh, did I not apply it? No? Hold on. Oh, 50 exactly. Uh, 0 to 50, that's what I wanted. There we go. You need to set trash down from infinity, indeed. Let's pick this up while we're at it. Go back for some more rail. Okay, down we go. Let's 
Same for coal. Zero to fifty. Whoops. Uh, and I need another... how much rail? Ghosts. Uh, a bit under a thousand. Oh, we've got that already. Cool. Actually, the autocrafter is still making rail? I thought... Input signals negative 950 rail. Huh. How did this happen? That's weird. I've tested this before. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Need a 2 by 2 chest. I could go back to the mall and grab one, but it's very easy to handcraft. And we'll double check this setting. Uh, solid rocket fuel, 440. Did I set the other one as a negative? I did. Oh, request stack threshold should be 40 as well. And this should be solid rocket fuel. There we go. Alright, so we are missing a bunch of red belt. Uh, probably a lot of rail signals. And that's about it, actually. underground is what we actually need. So where is it? We've got 333. There we go. Uh, and chain signals. Wait, why are we auto-trashing train signals? That should be 50 to infinity. Or maybe higher to infinity. Still need a bit more rail. How's our power? Oh, really good, it looks like. Yeah, we're actually fully charged, like, in the early morning with the accumulators. But we haven't really started. We, we haven't built any core mining drills yet, for example. Um, is that everything? Basically. Just missing some wind turbines. What are we missing over here? Chain signals. Oh, and a 2x2 two two chest. Uh, this time I'll be a little less lazy. Where's, where's our chest? There they are. Okay. Where are we missing the signals? Down this way? Fantastic. A little bit over here. And then... 
Uh, there's a few regular signals missing up this way, but we're not actually using that yet. Okay, if we're delivering more water, it means we've been making quite a bit of oil. We've got 31k light, which is mostly what we care about. Uh, we're actually out of iron plate here. Oh, I need to allow short trains to drop off to this location. And we're looking for... Uh, request stack threshold 40 on the iron plate. Uh, 4,000? A little bit more. That should be enough to trigger a short train to deliver. Also, we actually need a short train or two. Um, let's make... Let's test this again. I want two locomotive... Wait, what's in my inventory? Six cargo wagons. Yeah, let's just say we want two locomotives. Okay. Switch on. And we've got that in the memory cell. Within 30 seconds, this will tick over to the recipe. We're going to request the items for locomotive in this request chest. Uh, output, read hand contents pulse goes to times negative one to remove uh, Maybe this should be if anything greater than or equal to zero. Or anything greater than zero. Because we ended up with negatives and it kept going last time. This is probably the only change I need to make this work. I don't know how it managed to go over with the... Um, uh, With the target, though. Okay, let's make ourselves some iron gear wheels. How many do we need per loco? Only ten. Just shove those directly in there for now. And our memory cell... Oh, that is slow. Yeah, uh, trains take a while to make. 17%, ouch. But I kind of want to see this for testing reasons. Um, I could also tell it to make a bunch of iron gear wheels, but let's not interfere with this for now. I don't think it will interfere with it though, because iron gear wheel would be a lower priority. Pulse that in. So now we're trying to make a hundred gears and two locomotives. It should keep going with the locomotives until they're done. I wish I brought some speed modules. Pretty sure I didn't. Yeah, no speed modules. Uh, but yeah, we need one or two short trains to refuel the trains and miscellaneous. Okay, so the count is now one locomotive. I wonder... Oh! I wonder if it had something to do with... Hmm. It shouldn't have mattered, but because we make two rail at a time... I guess it could have... I requested exactly a thousand rail earlier. So that, that's an even number. It shouldn't have gone negative. But yeah, having this greater than zero should prevent that problem next time. All right, uh, let's go make ourselves a short train. I'll just put it here, actually. Give it some processed fuel for now. 
Take that back. And let me just copy the schedule from this one. Oh, not really do it that way. Oh, right, I almost forgot. I actually... No, bad. Um, I actually have a blueprint for this. Uh, LCL. Seems good. And give it some fuel. And away it goes. Doesn't have a path. How does it not have a path? Oh, because this rail goes nowhere. That's probably why. Okay. Throw in a couple of signals over here. And there's our train in the depot. Its first job is probably to deliver iron plate. There we go. So that's all of our inputs for liquid, uh, solid rocket fuel, uh, fully automated. Until we run out of iron plate in the mall, that is. We've got 9.3k still. Get it done. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is this windmill station? What do, what do you mean windmill station? The windmills are just left over from the blueprints that I was using on Hagen, to be honest. Um, I can always remove them a little bit later. That's loading slower than I thought. That's fine. Alright, so we've got a single short train on LTN, a couple of long trains for each type, and a train out of fuel down here. I think I'll just leave that for the moment. We've got 78k light oil here, and it takes 100 to make solid rocket fuel. We should be able to provide plenty of fuel to our trains in short order. Where is the water coming from? Uh, it is delivered as ice by rocket, uh, ice that we're making on Hagen. Because if you have cryonite, you can, you can make water ice. Weirdly enough, you can't make water ice without some exotic material. Uh, so what's next? We have, finally, we have solid and liquid rocket fuel fully automated. Um, honestly, I think that's most of everything we're going to do here. The rest is just connect core mining drills to the rail network, bring it to a cargo rocket. and do the rather annoying logistics for the cargo rockets. Alright, so we've got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe? We're going to go for the nearest 9 or mining drills. Let's double check how much power we have. Uh, at peak... 250 megawatts? We might have to add just a little bit more to support everything, especially the uh, defenses and also uh, also the coal mining drills. Alright, I think I know where I want to do the first drill. Grab some rail, we've already got it. Fantastic. Uh, core mining drill. And 
it's easier if we do it like this. And then bulk rail loader. Well, let's figure out where we want to put this. Probably here. Bulk rail loader is going to go here. And this is going to fit together like so. Hello, I'm going to be interested how you set up Vulcanite. I failed quite hard with mine. I have Coverex set up with Warehouse for each type of byproduct, but it keeps going full with the same products and stopping producing. I redid like three times the whole process. Uh, you probably just need to eventually void some of the byproducts. Um, preferably after having a storage for it that's a very high priority pickup so that you try not to waste anything. Um, get to that. Let's see. Provide stack threshold 80. Double trains only. Uh, core, fragment, vulcanite. Oh, there's three, three things with the letter V, the core fragments. And then I'd be happier if this was inputting directly into the delivery cannon chest, but I'm sure this will be fine. In fact, I'm sure red belt is massively overkill. I mean, blue belt. Well, red belt too. I think it'll put onto a specific side of the belt here, though, so a yellow belt would actually not quite be enough. Unless I had it put into a chest first. Okay. So that's our first core drill. Uh, why don't we connect it to main power? And we'll need a substation right about here. We're still not connected. And... Yeah, I think we could get away with like five core drills with the power that we've already got. Oh, I definitely want to put an accumulator down here. Do we have some? We have plenty. Uh, and we're just going to say that accumulator charge has to be greater than X. Um... Otherwise, we'll stop the drill. I don't necessarily want the core mining drills to stop the moment that we don't have a full charge. Then again... Yeah, let's say... Let's say if accumulator charge is greater than 20%. And... I'll connect that there. Uh, fortunately, core mining drills have a minimum power consumption of zero, so we don't need a power switch um, to avoid wasting power with that. Five would probably be tight, but four easily, indeed. I'll probably just add more solar panels, to be honest. Um, because... Well, if we have four, it's the equivalent of two. If we have nine, it's the equivalent of three. Maybe I'll just do four while I'm here. 
Then again, it's probably easier to just send more solar panels um, from Nalvis. Let's do a little backup of what we asked for before. And we'll ask for... How many solar panels is this? 2.5k, 1.3k. Solar panel. Accumulator. Alright, so that'll get built and or put into the cargo rocket for the next while. I think I will do the outgoing cargo rocket in the same block as the mall, since that'll just be easier. Uh, let's see, we want... Probably like this again. I could even do it on the same piece of rail over here, but that might be a little bit bad. Just put it up here. Now then. Oh, we want the core fragment drop-off close to the cargo rocket. Well, it's actually just going to be core fragments and liquid rocket fuel that we're dropping off for the cargo rocket, right? So, if we put our train stop in the usual place, is this it? Is this the middle? Can't quite tell. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5, 6, 7, yeah, that's right. Uh, let's see if we can't put our cargo rocket silo down in such a way that this would be super convenient. I'm thinking we don't have the central storage tank like that. Uh, let's do a couple of bulk rail unloaders. And cargo rocket silo doesn't actually have a middle, unfortunate. Hmm. I could position it so that those pipes connect directly, or or what? Ideally, I would like for... I'd like to have this again, only not. Maybe I should just... Have the physical input take a bit of a different path. How many stacks is this? 500, and this is 320 plus 320. So we can fit enough to fill one cargo rocket without adding any more containers here. I do craft landfill from stone, then crush them. It's faster? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's much faster to crush it that way, and you're making something useful out of it um, before you finally crush it. Some kind of button combo to input blueprint items into a constant combinator. I think there's a mod for that. Um, recursive blueprints or something? I use K2 Crusher to avoid extra sand, but failed to understand how much crushed vault ignite it would do. Oh yeah, I, I think I see what you mean. 
All right. Um, I think we're just gonna do it like this. Loader. Loader. It's not gonna be perfectly symmetrical, but there's nothing we can do about that. I guess I could put it a bit closer to the mole. So bring all of this over a bit. Yeah, I think I like this more. And then loader like so. Loader, like so. Nope. God damn it. Loader. Loader. Seems good. They should input at the same speed. Should. Alright, so we have a... Green wire to tell LTN what we've got. Um, and I guess this can be a whole different circuit. So we can use green wire to to say rocket has to be ready to launch before we put uh, cargo rocket sections in. I could make more complicated circuitry that would fill it up faster while the rocket isn't quite ready to launch, but considering the small stack sizes of core fragments, uh, I really don't think it's necessary. Alright, cargo rocket greater than zero. And we're going to request... Long trains only, or fragment Vulcanite. Uh, what's the maximum we can comfortably fit in here? 320, 640 stacks uh, is 12,800. Oh, it's eight train loads, I forgot. Um, let's just ask for like seven train loads to make sure we avoid overfilling this. Even though, theoretically, we should be able to ask for the maximum. Uh, so 7 times 20 times 40 times 2. Uh, number of train loads times stack size times cargo wagon stacks times 2 cargo wagons. 11,200. Let's just call it 11k. Core fragment vulcanite. And we also need liquid rocket fuel. Um, how much does it take to get back to Hagen? Uh, I won't give it a specific destination yet, but 80k. That's not that much, relatively. Um, although... How fast can we make liquid rocket fuel? Let's see, five solid rocket fuel per second. This only makes two. Oh, wow. I might have to look into different recipes. Solid rocket fuel. Here we go. Is there like a Vulcanite version? There's Pyroflux. That's not what we're looking for. Oxygen, ammonia, iron plate. Uh, I think we've looked at ammonia. Hydrogen chloride needs water. More of it, probably. 
ammonia, hydrogen chloride, light oil, pyroflux, and coal. Ammonia is hydrogen and nitrogen. Hydrogen means we're splitting water, so we're back to the same problem. Oh, it's probably not that much faster anyway. Uh, solid rocket fuel. Let's see, 16 seconds, 16 seconds. These two are only one second. Wait, what? Crafting time one. Oh, yeah. No, it's the massive inputs that are the problem. Oxygen in particular. Okay. So we can only actually make uh, 100 liquid rocket fuel per second, which would mean... Uh, let's call it 80k. Uh, 800 seconds to launch a rocket. That doesn't sound that bad, actually. Just over 800 seconds, so like 12, 13, 14 minutes. Let's get it precise. Eight, uh, 80,520 over... How much was it? 100. 805 seconds, 13.42 minutes. Um, let's see. 500 stacks. 13.42 over 500. We can send 0 0.03 stacks per second. Oh, per... No, I think I... I, I think I made a mistake here. Every 13.42 minutes we can send 500. So this divided by 500? No, this time. Oh, 500 over this. Duh. Uh, 37.26 stacks of 4 fragments per minute. That's 745 per minute. How much does this make? 510. So if we have more than two core mining drills, we're going to need a lot more uh, liquid rocket fuel production. Maybe I should use... No, I don't think I should use delivery cannons. They're actually, they are less efficient for sending large quantities. Hey, Evil Plow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hydro from Condenser. Hydro from Condenser. Wait, really? Nitrogen, oxygen. Uh... Atmospheric Condenser, bracket, waterless. Okay. We can get a lot more nitrogen than we can oxygen. Eight. Uh, let's get some reasonable number. One hundred forty-two point five per second, as opposed to forty-five. What was the recipe for? Nitri ammonia, I think. Uh, isn't ammonia hydrogen and nitrogen? Okay. And for hydrogen, we need water. How much water do we need for the hydrogen? Uh, 60 water gives us 40 hydrogen. Okay. That doesn't sound very good. So 
60 water gives us 40 hydrogen, which is not enough, uh, which I guess is enough for 40 ammonia. Uh, we need a thousand water for one solid rocket fuel, if I use this recipe. Oh, but we still need the thousand oxygen. So we're not solving the problem of needing way too many atmospheric condensers. No water on the Vulcanite planet. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, we'd still need just as many um, atmospheric condensers for oxygen alone. So that doesn't really help. Hard to believe that it takes this many to almost keep up with two, mich two, two solid rocket fuel per second. There's no way to bypass making the solid rocket fuel, right? Nope. We either need... Well, every single recipe requires a thousand oxygen, except for the one that requires pyroflux, which still requires 500 oxygen. I think we're just going to have to build bigger to make um, solid rocket fuel if we want a certain throughput of vulcanite before we get to... Uh, before we get away from cargo rockets. Unless we want to do lots of processing on planet, which I really want to avoid, if even a little bit possible. Um, I don't want to build a massive base on every single outpost. I want the smallest, neatest uh, outposts that I can possibly manage. Okay. Doesn't seem like our... Oh, we just don't have that much solid rocket fuel yet. Are we still making it? We're out of light oil. That's going to take its... Wait, we've got light oil available for pickup. So... I didn't rescue that train yet, did I? Okay, let's go grab some fuel. Down we go with the fuel. Costco Taquitos, Maholic, Midden. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Away you go. Oh, the train's all repath. Jump in. I guess the bots will have to catch up. And that'll be our light oil. Also, I don't actually have a sink for petroleum. Um, can we make fuel out of petroleum? It's, uh, it's a bit different from vanilla, or the version of SE I was playing last time. Uh, let's see... Plastic, sulfur, chemical gel. Uh, we actually need it to make vulcanite blocks. But again, I want to avoid processing on planet if I can. I really would like to not have to do that. We can make solid fuel, which I don't think we can turn into li into solid rocket fuel with this mod. Hmm. There's no way to turn processed fuel into... Nope. I have no idea what we're going to do with all this petroleum. Because we can't crack it back to light oil. 
Do you have methane and bio sludge? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. I mean, worst case, I can vent the. I can vent the petroleum if it's uh. If it reaches maximum. Solid fuel as train fuel? Uh, that sounds like a good idea, actually. That sounds like a very good idea. And it's just made in a fuel refinery directly. Could I actually fit... I could probably squeeze the solid rocket fuel pickup right down here. And using solid fuel for train fuel means Aldermore fuel for... Uh, Aldermore rocket fuel for the actual rockets. Can I not fit this? Why not? Steel pump is... Oh, right. Of course. Uh, so that goes there, that goes there. And we're going to need some pipe like this. Whoops. And then... Fuel refinery. Maybe two. I'm just going to assume that there's going to be some need to pick up petroleum as a fluid. If I can squeeze this in somewhere. I could actually put it like... Not here. I wonder if... Oh, we can't get the... Oh, this needs to be a loader. We can't get this to take directly from buildings, can we? No, that would be a little bit much. So I'm thinking maybe... Like this? And pipes, like so. Can we get another one of these? And we'll just... What's the rate here? Two per second? We'll just direct insert it like this. Of course it doesn't quite reach. How about this then? Uh, I think... Oh, I didn't put set the recipe here. Let's just rebalance that and I won't put a limit on it. Alright, cool. So then we'll change this to use solid rocket fuel. Does it stack better? Uh, not solid rocket. Um, solid fuel. Stack size is still 50. 20 megajoules times 50 is 1000 versus uh, 100 times 10 is 1000. It's the same. Except the, uh, the solid rocket fuel is going to saturate the belts more easily. Not to mention we can make this a lot more easily. Alright. So we're going to change this to... Solid fuel, requester, stack size 40, solid rocket, uh, solid fuel. 50 times 40 is, what, 200, uh, 400? No, that's not right. Uh, 2,000. Dub. Let's ask for a train load and a half. 
copy paste this down here. And I guess I need to allow short trains actually to pick this up. Which means I don't actually have room for it. I want the I could use a long arm. No, that won't work. I want the uh this stuff to go straight into here, actually. Hmm. Yes, we could do it like this. That looks kind of weird, but it gets the job done. Also, we actually don't have power for this pump anyway, so I probably should have just done this the way I wanted to the first time. Cool. Alright, that shouldn't take long to get a train load. Um, and as much as it makes me feel icky. I'll put a flare stack here to get rid of petroleum if and only if it gets up to like 199,000. Or no, I should do it up here instead. So we'd have to have this is full and all of these are full before we start wasting petroleum. It helps if the train can read the bulk loaders. This is true. I don't really need to connect this one, but may as well. Okay, so our flare stack is going to go... Gonna need another power pole. Unless I put it here. Uh, I guess I can live with that. Wait, 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 we need a pump, I forgot. Which means we're gonna need another power pole anyway. Alright, let's put it in the right spot. The pump is just for decision making. I'll just connect it to this one only. If greater than 199,000 petroleum gas, then we're going to pump it through to our flare stack. And if I reset it like that so we can't see what that, there, that any petroleum went into it, We'll be able to check back later here and know if it was ever used. Alright, cool. So this can consume 80 petroleum gas per second, which it can't actually keep up if this block is going at full speed. Oh, wait. Uh, let's pretend we're not cracking. 84. Yeah, it can use up almost all of the petroleum, uh, even if this never stops. So that should be fine. We do have the crude oil available. We have no path. Uh, how did we have a path before? Must have added some rail signals. Or something. Let's see. We're able to go this way to turn around and then. Oh, there's no signal here. That's why. Rain should be on, their w on the way now. Or not. 
There's probably the same problem down here. Here it comes. Fantastic. Why would you ever crack light to petroleum on this world? Solid fuel is just a waste product given... being given purpose. Uh, you might have a point. I just built this as a standard block without thinking about that before. We'll see. But it won't uh, it won't crack to petroleum unless we've got, well, unless we've got more petroleum than light. Uh, why don't we... Let's at least temporarily disable all of the cracking from light to petroleum. In a way that we could easily replace if we change our mind. The petrogas gas is very useful for orbit goods. Orbit goods. All right. What's next? What is next? We're full up on core fragments here already. Um, maybe I just won't worry about the throughput much until we have better tech. We'll see. Uh, we need liquid rocket fuel. And we actually only need 80k for one trip, so... Let's just ask for, like, 100k. Not that liquid rocket fuel is going anywhere else on this planet. Um, let's request core fragment and liquid rocket fuel for the purpose of cargo rocket. Okay, cool. Let's get a substation. Maybe even more substations. I just realized the cargo rocket silos themselves don't need any power. That's interesting. Alright, so... Uh, we need a... Requester of some kind. Um, I've been over this before. I think it's just not worth the trouble to try and do a extra clever input for these things and just have one chest each. So we're going to connect to the cargo rocket uh, silo. We're going to request capsules. Right here. All of them, actually. We're going to request cargo rocket section. And we're going to set this to... Cargo... Uh, where is it? Capsule. Capsule less than one, and cargo rocket section less than 100, and once those are loaded we can start putting in core fragments. We need a vanilla short train to bring stuff back. Um, let's change all of this to solid fuel. And while I'm at it, we should go ahead and take all of the solid rocket fuel that's over here. Give it back to the liquid rocket fuel production. It's 
more here than I expected already. Uh, how much liquid rocket fuel do we have? 4.7k. Well, it's a start. Give me that fuel. Wait, what is this? Oh, there's definitely an error in this uh, copy, paste, and or blueprint. So these guys never got any fuel. Not from the uh, automation. Let's see, this one is looking pretty normal actually. So I'll we'll copy paste this down to here. And let's go get the rest of that solid rocket fuel um, that accumulated over here. It's not a whole lot, actually. If there's any more on the belt, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, um, I really built more liquid rocket fuel uh, machines here than this can keep up with. I think at the time uh, we had a whole lot of solid rocket fuel saved up that we wanted to catch up with. It's fine. More importantly, do we have enough solid rocket fuel? Uh, solid fuel? We do. Uh, short trains are permitted. We need a provide threshold, a stack threshold. Uh, and that being 40, one cargo wagon. That should trigger a delivery immediately. Fantastic. And it's going to drop off at the depot. Alright, cool. At the very tippy top belt there is more. Uh, the solid fuel. Very tippy top belt. Oh, this one. Didn't get the same... Th uh, what the... Okay, something might be wrong with this blueprint. Uh, how many of these are wrong? Oh no. It looks like the short train one is correct. Um, and I've obviously got this set up correctly over here. The long train one has some mistakes. Same mistake over here. It's a bit hard to follow. But I think that's probably it. Oh. I do have a construction plane. Oh, plane? That'd be nice. Uh, I do have a construction train that I'm going to set up on this planet, so we should be able to fix things like that remotely. Uh, but right now we need more locomotives. Uh, we need one for the construction train and one for our uh, recycling pickup. And cargo wagons, we've actually got... Plenty for now. Missed an underground on the last placement. Oh, as in it's still a ghost? Uh, bring me stuff. Fantastic. I 
Is that it? Cool. We're already up to 35k. It's not going to be the most amazing throughput at first, um, but that's all right. Uh, let's see, how fast does this consume light oil? Only 200 per second, and two iron plate per second. So I think... Uh, I think we need to go bigger, honestly, right from the start. It's a lot of power, it kind of. 13 megawatts? Okay, that is kind of a lot of power. The amount of power we have to spend on atmospheric condensers to make solid rocket fuel to support uh, a cargo rocket silo, it's, it's actually a significant addition to our power needs, like, compared to the core mining drills. It's probably like 50%. Well, it depends on the diminishing returns, obviously. I just can't believe how much oxygen we need to make, um, to make solid rocket fuel. Alright. Anyway, the, the important thing is to get everything automated first. Efficiency modules? Yeah, I think you're right. That's a good idea. Uh, I did bring electronic components. We've got 1.9k, which means we should be able to make enough efficiencies here. Uh, we've got... Oh, also the actual fuel refineries are quite expensive. So let's say... Uh, 46, 48 times 2. So just under 100. Uh, yeah, we can afford it. We can afford this. Let's see. I'll wait till the locomotives are finished. We need two more. I'll make some copper cable. About 1500. Oh, actually, I could do this right now. Um, copper cable, 1500, make it 2000. Except if I add efficiency modules, they're going to be a high priority, I think. So I'll have to wait for the copper cable to get built. Yeah, that is not an insif that is a not insignificant efficiency gain right there. Especially because efficiency ones, it it only takes two efficiency ones to get minimum power consumption, and they are very very cheap. Um, I need a module inserter. We need atmospheric con. So is this what we have? Atmospheric condenser bracket waterless? It is. Bracket waterless. Efficiency ones and fuel refineries. Efficiency ones. Only two of them. And we will be needing... Can I see the coasts? No. Uh, 106 efficiency modules. We're currently making our last locomotive here. Um, let's go with... Can I copy-paste this? No, I would have to... Blueprint. I think I did this already. Yeah, I did. Okay. 
blueprint. This is going to be our recycling train. Uh, we're going to have to request stuff from the logistic network. From the tra uh, logistic train network. So let's do that up here, maybe? I would like to keep it all close, so the bots don't have to go far. But... It's just going to look a little messier if we do that. It's probably fine. Alright, so we need a LTN stop for this one. That's pretty good, actually. One more. And then... Unloader... one off. There we go. And straight into the active provided chest. Uh, we're going to read from the logistic network. And we're going to have negatives for what we're asking for. So let's see. Request a chest. I mean request a station. Um, I'll do a decider combinator here to say don't give us negative numbers from the logistic network. Each greater than zero, output each input count. And then... Just like that. We're not going to bother reading this. Um, we'll get a signal from the purple chest for what's in the logistic network. And that should pretty much be it. Short trains only. Uh, request stack threshold, I'm not sure. Probably... I don't know. 20? And for now, I'm just going to request solid fuel. Um, it was 2k before, right? Move in, RF Holloway, crazy Heather. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see, request it for them all. Whoops. There's no power to the inserters at the rocket silo. Uh, indeed. Surprised you hadn't already speed moduled the condensers. Um, I guess. Yeah, that might be a lot more of a sensible build. This is just our basic uh, solid rocket fuel build. I don't know how... Do I have beacons yet? I don't think I even have beacons. Yeah, we need the signs that we need Vulcanite for to get effect transmission. So I think I'll wait for that before I redesign it. Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. What's the point of efficiency 2, 3 or higher? Y yeah, you can uh, offset the power cost of speed modules and productivity modules. You can even have a, a whole lot of bonus speed and productivity and still have minimum power consumption if you so desire. Which I would probably recommend usually because... It's just like the difference is one or two efficiency modules um, between having like negative 80% power consumption on each machine or plus 300 
or something like that. Late game. Uh, I keep trying to click that. There we go. Alright. So we should have our... Uh, our short LTN train scheduled to pick up... Maybe I set the provide threshold to 40 though. Yeah, I did. There's not that much here anyway. I'll just set this to 40. Oh, no, this is fine. So we're kind of waiting on solid rocket fuel before this is... Um, I could go pick it up, but I want to confirm that the train scheduling is set properly. But it is a significant amount of time to wait before that happens. So let's just pick it up. Take that back to the mall. And there's our train fueled. We're going to need a vanilla train uh, as our construction train. Um, I actually wanted to copy the... What do we got here? 255155. I can't just shift right click, shift left click. No. And we're going to constructor train emptier and then constructor train loader. Uh, we're going to put an impossible condition on this because we don't want it to move from this station unless I give it a specific order. And we're going to wait for empty cargo if we send it to the emptier. So now we've got a very specific set of stuff that's going to be put into... why is this so high? What the... Oh, I see the problem. Um, because I just placed the train here, um, it didn't actually count as being at the station for the purpose of read train contents. So we're going to drop the construction bots back into the buffer warehouse. Oh wait, that won't work if this is a buffer chest. Hmm, okay. Let's get a requester, request from buffer chests, and that should stop at 50. And we can just set combinators here for whatever we want our train to carry. As soon as the rail actually arrives. I don't think we have the rail right now. How many more cable are we making? Quite a bit, actually. Um, can we make some rail real quick? And we'll be able to see that working. All right. What about the... We're not getting the solid rocket fuel delivered. Be... Uh, the solid fuel delivered because there isn't enough of it yet. Um, where is this trying to go? Oh, it's trying to steal it from the mall to take it to the depots. Hmm. I didn't anticipate that. Let's give them different uh, encoded network IDs. So we'll go... Encoded network ID... What do I usually do? I don't think it actually matters, but I want to stick to a convention. On a finite resource, 
Oh. Oh, Media's got through. Wait, did we not automate Media Defense Ammo? Uh-oh. I might have to go back to Hagen sooner rather than later. Hold on, surely we can make... We can definitely make Media Defense Ammo here. Um, do we have bot network here? We do... I think we can just set this up remotely. We might run out of space a little bit. Questa... Substation... And not just ship. Oh, I can. Easy. All right, that should be more than enough. Good thing we had all this room left in the mall. I could have built something remote to get supplied, but like, trying to do it in a hurry with uh, with the construction train remotely is not what I would like to do right now. Is the rail in your pocket? That's a good question. Uh, and yes, yes it is. So we're going to put in exactly 100 rail, and then switch to something else. Fantastic. 225 out of 155? Oh, for the colors? Oh! Oh, that's because we finished loading this. I remember. That's what that notification is. Okay. Um, what's next? Oh yeah, I was looking at our iron mine here. So we're setting encoded network ID 1 on a finite resource and encoded network ID 2 on a place we don't want to drop it off. I'll do something similar here. Oh, this is already set to 2? Huh. I wonder why I did that back here. Because I didn't want it picking up here and taking to here, that's why. Alright, uh, speaking of which, over here we want encoded network ID 1, otherwise it'll set requests to pick up from here and take to here as well. Alright, so encoded network ID 1, encoded network ID 1, and encoded network ID 1. Alright, could you please... Uh, take this stuff to the mall instead. And go back to depot. No ID as same as negative one, all or zero. Uh, the default is negative one slash all. Um, so if I don't give it an encoded network ID, LTN will schedule this uh, with any other station um, that makes sense. I have to give the two stations that we don't want to interact mutually exclusive uh, encoded network IDs. That's what the train's trying to do, yeah. Okay. How much solid do we have? A train load, right? This second, actually. Fantastic. So we should see... Both of these are empty, actually. Not this one, actually. Okay. We should see the solid rocket fuel come up here next. Oh, the belts are already saturated. That's good to see. Unless something's still busted here? I thought I fixed this. D 
didn't I copy this after removing the belt that was already here? Hold up, where does this fit? One, two, three, four, this is wrong. This needs to go here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Did I really never fix the... Uh, I think it's because I copied stuff from up here, probably. Well, there's your problem. Once we see solid rocket fuel reaching where all of the locomotives go, um, we'll know that it's working. This should not be here. That looks good. No, it doesn't. And one, two, three, four. Fantastic. These are in the wrong spot. These are in the wrong spot. And there's nowhere else for this to go. Okay. Hopefully that is fixed now. Let's drop off our solid rocket fuel here. I keep calling it solid rocket fuel. Solid fuel. Uh, the nice thing about solid fuel with this setup is it saturates the belt sooner. Even though the stack size gives us the same amount of megajoules. Did we run out of copper? Surely not. No, it's right here. Oh, we're trying to switch to rail. That's weird. The recipe combinator is ahead of the uh, crafting combinator. Or something. What's going on here? Oh, I didn't confirm. That should update now. Input signals, rail, and wire. Still trying to make wire? I can't see what it's outputting. It, it looks like it's trying to make rail. And yet... We're getting both signals. Huh, I didn't realize it would work. Oh, yes, I did. Hmm. Hmm. That's really strange. The recipe combinator is looking at rail. And the crafting combinator is looking at copper cable from the same inputs. Very interesting. Okay, I guess, uh, uh, I guess we should only feed it one recipe at a time. And the count doesn't seem to be working. Oh, it doesn't have steel? Oh, it doesn't have steel beams, because I made a specific number of those. Okay, that's fine. Um, did we get enough wire? We got 1.9k, that should be enough for our efficiency modules. How many did we need or want? 
a hundred and six. And I think we've got enough of all of the prerequisites for that. Okay, cool. Might as well use speed twos for the auto crafter. Uh, I do have the solid fuel, so yeah. What do we need? 40 solid fuel? Repair of speed twos. This needs some um, 32 electronic components, I think. I think I was muted, but basically I decided to make this an assembly 3. Which I probably should have done to start with. Okay. We have enough liquid rocket fuel to send a cargo rocket back. I'm curious why we haven't picked it up with our trains yet, actually. Uh, let's see. This is probably why. And the other one must be stuck somewhere. It's just busy. Alright, so we have 142k liquid rocket fuel. Provide threshold 50. Um, I could allow short trains to pick up from here if they want to. But, uh, oh, I didn't switch this on yet. Well, there's your problem. And I think we're going to need to send some more cargo rocket sections. We've got another 30 here, but that's not going to cut it. Um, I would like to confirm that our vanilla return train is working. And let's see. I'll have to set up automatic delivery of cargo rocket sections, uh, space capsules, I guess. And I think that's it, actually. Media defense installation ammo. Should probably send that as well. Be a lot easier than manufacturing it here. I can set up delivery cannons to supply the media de the, the materials for the media defense installation ammo, I believe. Steel plate electronic circuit battery. Let's have a peek. Uh, so we would have a cannon chest, a assembly machine for ammo. Oh, that's the wrong thing, thank goodness. Uh, ammo. We can't send a fish, uh, we can send steel plate, but not these two directly. Steel plate. Uh, electronic. 
electronic circuit is stone, brick, and copper. We can't send wood by delivery, can, right? Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if we could. I didn't actually bring any cannons. I think I have some spare cannons lying around somewhere. Oh, a Nalvis that I can mess with. Here it is. Uh, we can send wood, actually. Might be easier to do the electronic circuits that way. So we don't have to follow the step of making stone tablets. So... Copper plate, wood... And batteries, which means sulfuric acid barrel. Sulfuric acid barrel. Where is it? There it is. Uh, we need a barrel emptier. We need batteries here. I said battery. Wait, what? Oh, it's a chemical plant. And... Emptier. Might have to go there. Barrel. Sulfuric acid barrel emptier. I think I might just use the cargo rocket to send media defense installation ammo. I'm already going to set up a multi-rocket to supply things, so why not? Uh, but yeah, we need sulfuric acid barrel, iron and copper, and that's basically it. Um, and then we need a recycler to deal with the barrels. Recycle empty barrel. No, well, that's not that much of a eyesore. One cargo rocket full of media defense ammo. Uh, how many shots is that? 20 times 500 is... Uh... 2,000? I mean, 1,000, right? No, that's not right. 10,000. I could... Yeah, I could supply the media defense ammo this way. But it would also mean setting up more infrastructure on the main base side. 10,000, that'll last you a long time. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do... It'll also take a long time to make it. Um, I'm going to do a multi-rocket thing instead. So the hard part here is deciding when we need to launch the rocket. Um... I'm going to use this cargo landing pad, and we're going to signal transmit. Uh, we're going to have some circuitry before the signal transmitter. On the Hagen side of things, Technically, I could use the one cargo rocket silo to supply all sorts of... Why are we out of steel? 
have a bad feeling about this. We have no coke because because why? Where is coke? This is coal. No, th this is coke. I mislabeled this. Figures that I would put the coke right before the steel. We're missing coal. Oh well, there's your problem. Actually, that's kind of scary. We've got coal coming in from Nalvis, but I think it's busted. Because the trains on Nalvis are busted. Okay, so we need a new coal mine on Hagen. We don't have to go that far to get a whopping 66,000. Wait, what about core fragment processing? We are doing that still. Okay, so coal isn't completely busted, it's just very slow. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Have to do one silo per planet for buffer? Uh, yeah, for now I'm just going to use the cargo rocket in the mall on Hagen. But we'll set up a dedicated one a bit later. Philip B, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. We've got an awful lot of coal here, but here is not Hagen. Has Homeworld been cleared out of aliens? Uh, sort of. Hagen is our home world now, um, and that has that never had any biters. As for Nalvis, Tyler, thank you very much for the sub as well. Fourteen months, wow! Thank you so much. Been subbed from pretty much the beginning. Uh, very much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Nalvis has biters, however, I have biter expansion turned off. I did have uh, the rampant mod, which makes the biters way more threatening. However, we got to a point where the biter, the rampant mod caused UPS to go from 60 to 20 or less in like less than a minute. So it wasn't playable anymore. I had to change it back to Vanilla Biters. So we are stuck with Expansion turned off. Not that I want Expansion turned on for space exploration. Uh, but yeah, we, we expanded way more than we need to for Vanilla to keep the Biters from attacking. Um, because the Rampant Biters are a lot more aggressive. They don't have to be in the pollution cloud to attack. Alright, so can we find a coal mine on... Oh, here's one. Uh, let's try setting this up with our construction train. Oh, the only trouble... Uh, I really should have made this a double header. The only trouble with the construction train on... Our home world is, if it gets to a dead end, it can't turn around. Mm. Let's try adding a rail block like this. And we'll cut this part off. And we'll move our construction train over here for starters. Away it goes. I do wish the follow cam, ever since you have Navsat, would just reveal this area. Um, but yeah, that's going to park here. 
robots are going to jump out with the rail. How much rail do we have here? Quite a bit. Can you bring the train into the mall for an upgrade? Uh, I could. It's going to be a bit tricky. The, the ironic thing is I didn't end up adding stuff to the last cargo wagon. Um, so I could relatively easily... Uh, it's not the mall, it's this area. I could relatively easily just remove the last cargo wagon as and replace it with a locomotive, I guess. Since we're not using it right now. The idea of this was like this is this is our main base. I was going to be here most of the time. Um, but now that I'm having to use it remotely, it really does make me uncomfortable that if it gets, if it goes into a dead end, I can't turn it around. Alright, well, that's taking just a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, we'll come back to this and send the train here. Actually, can I, I can't path it to here until the rail is there. I would love to part, I would love to give it orders to finish what it's doing, go back, resupply, and then come back here. But until all of that rail is actually placed here, I can't do that. Uh, what I can do is plan out this mine in the meantime. So we'll go with... Something like, I'm not sure actually. It's going to be a bit too close. How about we just put it here? Did I put drills in the train? Not yet. Easily remedied. We are going to request drills. Um, let's just put it in the last cargo wagon. Mining drill mark 2, say 200. And we're going to request that those be brought from the mall as well. We should definitely have the drills available here. 500, fantastic. LTN should be scheduling a train to deliver them now. There we go. For some reason it's delivering 400. Oh, I remember why. Yeah, because we're, we're looking for uh, double what goes into the train. Um... I might want to get the train to reset its inventory. Just in case. Here come our drills. Train is getting emptied. Wait, what? Uh, why, why are the bulk rail unloaders not doing anything? That seems bad. That seems very bad, actually. Hopefully we don't end up with the wrong thing in any of these uh, cargo wagons. Uh, this bulk... This bulk rail unloader isn't working either. What am I supposed to do about that? Hold up. Have all of the bulk rail unloaders stopped working or something? You're joking. 
Hold on. Settings, mod settings. Maybe it got reset to default. But I thought you could only change this setting on map creation. Let's see. Uh, LTN. Bulk rail loader. Allowed items or. Why did this change? Oh, did I click the wrong thing earlier when I would... No, I don't think so. It's possible I reset the wrong thing. When I was trying to reset the crafting combinators. Okay. I hope that's all it is. Plain text should be shown over loaders and unloaders when handled. Item types change. Okay. Thank goodness for that. Maybe mod update had this reset. I uh, I haven't updated in a while because of things like that. So let's, uh, just to be doubly sure, we'll empty and refill our train. Because we can't check what's in an individual cargo wagon, uh, that's the only way to be absolutely sure of what's in our train. Fantastic. I definitely saw trains picking up solid fuel, for example, earlier, so I think I must have somehow changed it mid-game. Poor Ao. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, M... M... I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Data sync, welcome, welcome. Also, okay. In the meantime, some time has passed here, and we've produced some stuff. Oh yeah, I want to get coal moving on this planet. I'll wait for the sound that tells us the train is loaded. Alright, we got our liquid rocket fuel. We've got most of our cargo rocket sections, but we need more. We need a receiver on the... <laughs> There's just barely room here. Uh, we need a receiver on this end. This uh, isn't connected to anything, is it? Circuit wire-wise? No, I think we're good. Um, we stopped loading this because we stopped getting steel. So I'll cancel that for now. We're going to connect the... Hmm. This might be harder to jury rig with our existing system than I thought it would be. I might just manually launch rockets for a little while. But basically we're going to send signals for what to put into the cargo rocket. Each time's negative one. Uh, I could just send a negative signal. If I send a negative green signal, it'll receive it for the purpose of a launch trigger. So that's actually surprisingly easy to get around. Okay. I can't really check if it's loaded first, though. I'm going to do a dedicated system for this when we go back. Um, but on this side, we can do everything right the first time. So we're going to say... 
We're going to read from the logistic network. Uh, so we'll have positive numbers for that. No, I'll do a times negative one. Uh, where's my arithmetics? There we go. So positives only, and then multiply by negative one. Um, that's going to pick up a green signal from here, actually. Unless I do a red wire coming from this. Okay. How do I... What? Oh, there we go. That's a bit more readable. Alright, so times negative one. Contents of logistic network. And we're going to have positive values for the stuff that we want delivered by cargo rocket. And we're going to send that to Hagen. What's the name of this planet? Granus. Uh, Granus multi rocket requests. Okay, so we want. Uh, a bunch of cargo rocket sections. Hacked would be good, actually. So, a hundred times five. I should probably have a dedicated system here for packing some cargo rocket sections. I mean, I could do... I could do it with the autocrafter, I guess. I don't trust it to get around to it quickly, though. Overall, it doesn't need to be quickly, but right now I would prefer if it is. So we'll just do... Buffer... Buffer... Uh... Packing and limit packing to one hundred or packed to one hundred. Right, seems good. Alright, so we want packed cargo rocket sections. Uh, we want capsule. Uh, let's say, I don't know, 10. And I forgot. I don't think we actually have space capsules being automated here. What does it take? To make a space capsule. LDS, RCU, solar panel accumulator, solar rocket fuel, glass heat shielding. I think we've got all that. Alright. Let's go with... I might make it high priority. There's no prereqs. Well, there's solar panels and accumulators, actually. Alright, fine. We'll put it up here. Oh, I am requesting space capsule. It looks like we just haven't gotten to it yet. Why is there an extra... Oh! Oh, we already... Yeah, no, we already had it. Um, we're still trying to put space capsules in here. But we actually had already made a space capsule. Fantastic. 
We'll aim for a few more than one. Switch trains to process solid fuel. Oh uh, yeah, I did on uh, on this planet. You can actually see the change right there. We can go pick up that solid rocket fuel if we really want to. And yoink. And my inventory is too full. There we go. That's not an insignificant amount. Okay. Did we get any efficiency modules? Oh, they should be finished, actually. 106. Beautiful. Uh, where are my 106? Oh, I, I can see them, actually. That's going to have an impact on the power cost. Look at that. This is the cost of atmospheric condensers in the last 10 minutes. Can you process solidified fuel to 10% boost? Oh, you mean with the, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, fuel processor? I think so. Do we lose out on acceleration or anything? Acceleration 75%. Well, that, that's bad. This is 90%. Uh, okay then. But then I need... Then I need to move this stuff again. I think we're probably still going to end up venting some petroleum anyway. This was actually partly done so that we have a petroleum sink. I think we're going to be way ahead as it is. Okay. Um, so we're looking for some space capsules, some packed cargo rocket sections. I think instead of just a constant combinator for that, I should have a decider which says if cargo rocket sections less than a hundred, output packed, I, I could change the numbers a little bit, but if cargo rocket sections is below some amount, output an arbitrary number of packed cargo rocket sections. Alright, so... 100? So if we get low enough on cargo rocket sections that we... That we only have a couple of launches left, let's see. Then send 500 in a packed state. Although... It's going to take the existing packed cargo rocket sections as an input as well. Hmm... I think we can probably just ignore that if we unpack them fairly quickly. Should be okay. Uh, five times unpacking. Requester. Buffer can go up here, actually. 
Why don't we just do this? Oh, except then we wouldn't be able to tell that we have more cargo rocket sections. Let's do it down here. And I'm just gonna filter insert the packed cargo rocket sections straight into this chest. Make it a double sized chest. Oh, I should make it green. Um, so that we can tell how many we. Wait, no. I don't want this to read how many packed cargo rocket sections we have in the robot network. I want them to. I want the robot network to not know that we have them as soon as possible. All right, so 96 of those. And then that can go straight to a active provider chest. That would be kind of convenient. Augustus Ovidus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, cool. I could actually blacklist so we don't pick up the cargo rocket sections over here. The packed ones. Packed cargo rocket sections. Okay, cool. Everything else from the cargo landing pad straight into the mall, straight into the robot network. And if we somehow end up with packed ones in the robot network, just put them here. All right then. Okay, so if cargo rocket sections less than 200 request 500 in a packed form, Um, we want 10 space capsules, and we need ammo. Media, defense, installation, ammo. And how much do I have saved up here? Uh, only 50? What? That's kind of alarming. Uh, I know we filled these up not that long ago, but still... I should probably make media defense ammo a high priority. We don't have to make any prerequisites here. So... Ammo... I don't know. How much fits in a chest? Uh, 960. That's quite a lot, I think. One chest full of media defense ammo, please. Oh, and I need to set the crafting combinator um, to not change recipes quite so often, so it stops flickering all over the place and having the recipes change and having the system get confused. We still have no steel, which reminds me I need to get this coal mine going. Let's get our train to visit over here. Inactivity 30 seconds. And we should have everything we need to build this mine now. Let's see. Is that going to cover it? 
I think so. I don't think we need these ones. And I don't think I gave them any delivery cannon chests, actually. So I'll just use a splitter here. Uh, why don't we do a nice big container like so? I'll use the container as a splitter, actually. I don't think I can get the train to place this properly unless I... cut and paste like that. Or I could have done it via the editor. Okay, so this is going to go... It's actually slightly too close. In here. This is going to go here. This is going to go here. And so on. And one more. Don't need that one. Apparently the train doesn't have its mines, uh, miners though. Oh, we do have delivery cannon chests. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you know what? This is done already. It's fine. Uh, let's get a lighted substation. Make this a requester, and no, not a requester, a pickup. Uh, I think it's encoded network ID 1 for our finite resources. Long trains, I was going to say long trains only, but it doesn't have to be that way. This, uh system is actually quite good for rebalancing. And LLTN what we've got. Combinator is switched on. Station name is Coal Provider. Um, make this a bit longer. Now where are our drills though? We're definitely asking for 200 drills in the wagon at the back. Oh, are we not doing the set? Oh, I need to do static requests. For these, uh... No, I don't. No, I didn't, I didn't connect these properly. I'm surprised these just happen to have the right requests. Okay, there's our drills. Alright, so we need our construction train to go back home. Uh, empty, fill, and then come back here again. But I don't want to mess with this condition, so I'll just wait for the notification that it's fully loaded. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just do it at the depot. What are we doing at the depot? And where is our construction train? Oh, here it is. Fantastic. All right, so it's going to empty rather quickly. It's going to have its inventory reloaded. And this time, said inventory will include uh, big mining drills. So once we get another 30 landfill... There we go. Fantastic. Solid fuel... oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The processing. Okay. Um, is this train okay? It is. 
fantastic. This one is also doing just fine. I'm surprised how much slower it is unloading the train going through just one piece of pipe. Oh well. Alright, what are we doing here? I think we've almost loaded our train. Just one stack to go. And there it is. Alright, train over here please. Again. And wait for inactivity 30 seconds. And that should be enough to build the whole mine. Here it comes. Would it be worth it to prod mod the coal, prod mod the coal miners? Uh, probably. I don't have prod modules at the moment. Uh, I guess I could do prod twos in the mall without requesting anything new. Uh, I don't have sulfur here, but that's easily remedied. Yeah, we could... We could bring sulfur here. 2500. And low priority... Uh, prod 1s and prod 2s. See how that goes. Okay. Now, I was trying to figure out... Let's go for one... Uh, one chest full of media defense. And I think it would be easier if I just build a RoboPod up here, honestly. As opposed to setting up any other kind of logistics to supply our ammo. Alright, now the tricky part. What is the threshold where we want to automatically launch a rocket to supply these things? I did do a build last playthrough where we have different request thresholds for the different items. Because we don't want to send cargo rockets frivolously. Even if it is from the main planet. Hmm. Unfortunately... Oh, wait. Hmm. We can actually read how full the rocket is, right? Yeah. 500 empty. I'd want two conditions on it. Either it is... E is below some number. We'll send the cargo rocket. Or we're completely out of some resource or other on this end. Or maybe just very low on it. And I could set... Uh, this is actually a really difficult one. Because we need to read... I think, I think we do what we've been doing here. But we set larger requests for the high volume things. 
and then we either send a cargo rocket when it's full of this stuff, or if we're low enough on something or other. Found out you can limit the cargo size on a rocket like you can do with a chest. Uh, yeah, that's not the problem though, we're just trying to not waste cargo rocket trips very much. Uh, which is pretty difficult with multi-rocket, uh, like multi-item rockets. But I'm not about to do a cargo rocket full of space capsules, for example. Hmm. I kind of feel like jumping into editor to really experiment with this properly. It might be the best way to go about it. Let's make sure we get our coal mine first. Oh, there it is. Except that it's not powered. Okay. Where's our construction train? Uh, back you go. Wait for inactivity. Normally five seconds of inactivity would be enough, but sometimes the bots are slow to get started. Oh, I don't think they have medium poles. Okay. In that case... In that case... Oh, that's just small enough. Beautiful. Fantastic. Alright, so that's our coal mine, built completely remotely and before Spidertrons are a thing. Nice, Sue. I just picked an item that was used the most and gave it a value with a green signal for the rocket to launch. That's a pretty effective way to do it. Although, what if we end up, like, somehow low on one thing? Hmm. I think I want to jump into editor for this. Let's do it. We can theorize all we like, and there's going to be some bug or other that we don't foresee, or just execute slightly poorly. Okay. So we're gonna do... I go rocket silo. Uh, where is it? I go landing pad. Let's do it over here. Um, I'll throw in the signal stuff while we're here. Probably should have copy-pasted the whole uh, cargo rocket loading system, but I can whip that together pretty quickly. That's where the tricky part comes in, is to figure out what item to pick. Indeed. Alright, so I think for testing, what we want is something... I'll just do it manually at first, actually. Um, we want a robo-network... We want to drop everything into a active provider chest. Make it a bit faster for this one. Actually, give me a nice, big, juicy active provider warehouse. Do I have no room? Act 
active provider warehouse and like that and then a bunch of storage chests uh a few super logistic bots some power Move this up here. And we're looking for... Let's just call this... Test... Ending pad. We're gonna assume... That this is loaded. No trouble. Space capsule, cargo rocket sections, less than 100, space capsule, where is it, space capsule less than 1, and some fuel, Okay, so we are looking for, uh, if cargo rocket sections less than, uh, what am I doing? I need a decider. If cargo rocket sections less than 200 output cargo rocket section packed input count and input count is going to be 100 or maybe we could just keep them stored in a packed state and we read how many packed we have except then the cargo rocket sections that come back from other places aren't going to be counted. This is a new save with editor on, not the lab mode. Yeah, not the lab mode. Otherwise, I couldn't do the um, the cargo rocket silos and other cross surface things. Um, okay, so we need uh, some constant combinators with what we want. Uh, other than the act sections, we want 10 capsules, we want ammo, let's say 960, we want to read negative of the robo network. But first we have to check that we're not getting negatives of things that aren't actually missing. Greater than zero output each, each times one output each, that's a negative actually. And this goes to here. So on this green wire we've got positives of all of the stuff that we're looking for, minus what is in the robot network. Um, and that's going to go... That's going to go to our signal transmitter. Which is going to go to our system for putting stuff into the cargo rocket. Um, whereby I had requesters uh, 
I'll actually do it up here again. Um, that goes in here, and then we have filters to put stuff in. Let's put this up here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Set filters, set stack size S. Really should have copy pasted this before. These other ones are just going to be set filters, but we're only going to activate them if there's more than, I think it was 72 uh, items of that type. Because 12 times 6. Yep, if there's more than 72 of whatever type of item, all of these are going to swing with no stack size restriction. Um, otherwise, we're going to do each greater than zero. I'll put each. And then we're going to do a times one output it's for stack size so that goes there and that goes there and then we're gonna set requests just the same way as setting the stack inserter filters Okay, I think that's about right. Um, we need to subtract what's actually in the cargo rocket. Normally we have a bunch of constant combinators here. Uh, and take out anything that's not supposed to be there. Active, provider... Uh, let's see, we're going contents of cargo rocket minus what it needs to launch. Each times negative one. Output each. Uh, and I think a constant combinator here because we don't want these two reading the negative. Unless we set this to like less than zero, which we could, but either way is fine. Uh, space capsule is set to negative one. I'll go rocket section negative 100. So that should get a positive signal for these when... well, never actually. We should get a zero signal for these things when it's fully loaded, ready to go. And we should get negative signals coming out here for these things otherwise. And we'll be ignoring the negatives with set filters and stuff. Okay, so then... We'll do a robot network over here with a aggregate passive provider. Grab some super logistic bots and we'll just test that our loading system works. Uh, 100 copper cable. Fantastic. Um, let's set it down to 50 copper cable. Also, I need an infinity storage chest. There we go. Remove unfiltered. Um, 
We need to remove excess items in case. I mean, for this specific use case, we sh theoretically should never have to remove something that doesn't belong in there. But if we did want to do that, um, I guess it's anything that's negative on this green wire. Why have we got negative one on these two, though? We've got negative one space capsule. Oh, there is an extra space capsule in there. How did that happen? Stack size? No, that's impossible. Oh, I think the super inserters are too fast or something. Well, uh, let's find out. Circuit magician, thank you. Undead hunter, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so we're going to go... Uh, anything greater than zero. Output anything input count. We're actually going to do this the exact same thing as we did before. Except we're going to multiply all of this by negative one. Or I could even go... If I was really lazy, if I was okay with stack size 1 for removing things, I could just go anything less than 0, output anything 1. Um, and then we would only need one combinator to do this. No? Oh, anything less than 0, output 1, anything. It's outputting the E, though. So that doesn't help. Um, we need to remove... Um, I definitely did this on Hagen. We need to remove the uh, EFL signals. And the cargo rocket launch signal. I think I probably actually need a decider combinator here. And we'll just say negative a million for anything that is, uh-oh, not supposed to be there. Each greater than zero, output each input count. That goes to here. And then we need E, F, L and cargo rocket. So then we won't get any of those signals passing through here. Uh, also liquid rocket fuel. We don't need to know about those. So then we're just gonna pass that to here and uh, that does work, but it just removes one item at a time. That's going to take a little while in this case. So instead, we're going to say anything greater than zero output anything input count times one to get S for stack size. Um, I think we need another times negative one for this. I feel like this is more combinators than I used on Hagen, but I could be wrong. So that should drop our copper cable down to 100 and get rid of everything else. Is there a way to delete fluid with logistic? I always have extra mineral water. Um, depending on the version... I, I, I would imagine this is not K2, but SE.6, point, point right? Um, there's a thing called a flare stack? No, it's Crestorio 2. Is there not a way to do this without Crestorio? 
Um, you can actually delete any fluid with this. You might have to take some extra steps otherwise. Water, steam, power? I have K2SE. Alright, cool. Why are we at 50 copper K... Oh, because I set it to 50. Alright. Oh. Um, okay. We only want to ignore one space capsule, not all of them. Perfect. And we only want to ignore 100 cargo rocket sections. Alright, so that's our loader. Now we just need to figure out the logic for filling it up with multiple items that we're requesting and when to launch so that we don't waste too many cargo rockets. Let's see. Um, so we're going to probably receive the stuff that we want to load into the cargo rocket from the signal receiver. Doesn't that mean we're trying to load... Oh, I didn't set the channel. There we go. So putting in 10 space capsules, 100 cargo rocket sections, and 960 media defense installation ammo. I'm surprised it isn't in a neat pattern considering we're doing... Oh, it's probably... It's probably because of the order that I added them. Let's empty it and see what happens. Yeah, that's going to be in order. Also, we could probably use some um, construction bots. No? How is it doing that? That's really weird. Oh, because... Because of the greater than 72 thing? Yeah, that's why. Okay. I can probably live with that. Oh, wait. I know I know the solution, actually. It's very, very easy. That should do it. So now... No? Could you... Could you stop? Are you seriously... Okay. Could have sworn if we only passed that signal through, we would get a neat pattern here. Okay, now it seems to be working. Yeah, I guess it was just something to do with how I was deconstructing and putting this back. Alright then. Anyway. So let's see. Read from logistic network. Positives only. Times negative one. Plus the stuff we're asking for. Uh, I think I need this to go... Here, actually, no. I need a red wire to connect these. So that we're getting the negative of what's in the logistic network going to this combinator right here. 
without interfering with the others. Alright, so... If there's less than 200 cargo rocket sections, send lots of packed cargo rocket sections. And always try to send this much. And then... How do we decide when to launch? Theoretically, I'd like to fill the whole cargo rocket at least some of the time. We could go... Launch on green signal when fuel full. Oh, launch on green signal or when cargo full. That's actually super convenient. So if we ever end up filling this completely, it'll just launch. And then we could send a green signal from this side only if we desperately need some particular resource. Except I'd like to check that that particular resource is actually loaded on this end. Hmm... So I think we have to do that logic on this end, which means we're going to get a zero signal for media defense installation ammo if we've got all of the media installation ammo we're looking for, right? Negative 960 plus 960, zero. So the lower the number, the more we've got, because we're reading this as a negative. Okay, so if... If this positive number is above some amount... Like, if, if this is at 50, that signal, it means we're 50... Uh, 50 away from running out, doesn't it? No, um, quite the opposite. 50 short of our target, which is what I was going to say the first time. You'll have to round up to a multiple of stack size for random stuff. Uh, Cipher Cat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How is your stream today? I'm trying to shout out Sifa, but it's tabbing into emotes. Okay. Soulburn, Obada, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Vlad, Tiny Goliath, welcome, welcome also. Okay. Um, so I think what we're going to do is on this side... Well, this is where it gets tricky. I think we're going to get a red wire from this. No, we just need like a... Like a one-way combinator here. To check how much we're actually asking for. Without subtracting what's in the cargo rocket. I think I want to set these targets high enough that we would fill a cargo rocket, and then, uh, let's say, uh, 245 stacks of these other two resources, which sounds pretty excessive because it is. Uh, 245. That's not 245. So 10 stacks, 245 stacks, 245 stacks. If this is ever full, we're just going to launch. Which uh, should happen now that I've changed that.
I suppose if I set these requests high enough... That's actually all it takes. As long as we don't mind ending up with a really big buffer on planet. Um, that might actually be a pretty elegant solution. We don't need any really complicated uh, circuit logic to decide when to launch. We're just going to launch when full. No, because what if... Okay, what if we consume... What if we somehow don't launch any cargo rockets for a while and we consume nothing but media defense installation ammo? I would have to set each of these to 500 stacks. Hmm... I could actually do that. If, if we aim for 500 stacks of each of these two main resources, uh, the space capsules will come first with the arbitrary signal ordering, so we don't have to worry about asking for 500 of those. Let's see. 500 packed. I could go for 500 regular cargo rocket sections if I really want to. But the point is to not waste cargo rocket space. Uh, let's see. Uh, 10,000. Yeah, that should cause this to load up fully. Launch on green signal or when cargo full. And then if we use up either resource. If we use up like half a cargo rocket of ammo and half a cargo rocket of cargo rocket sections. Then it's going to end up filling a rocket again and will therefore launch. If we use up a third of a rocket of cargo sections and two thirds of a rocket of ammo, this will fill up and launch. I think that's basically it. It has the significant downside of needing needing to end up with a buffer on this end that is large to say the least. I mean, it would have to be one full cargo rocket. It kind of... I mean, except for the space capsules. It kind of defeats the point of making a multi-rocket. Kind of. Where is this rocket going? Oh, it went to Navis Orbit. Uh, what's this cargo landing pad going to be called? Test pad 1. Um, target is... Test pad 1. Okay. Are you going to use a blocking decider to keep the rocket from double loading? Double loading? Why would it do that? Getting an exact fill of a cargo rocket is a pain, indeed. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm a little concerned about what that cat is up to. That's why you don't go for exact fills. But I don't want to waste cargo rockets. Mine Mousecraft, good to see you again. I think you were here earlier, actually. Well, welcome anyway. When it launches, it creates 23 seconds of extra requests. What do you mean by that? Uh, 
All right, hurry up and load you. Oh, that's the wrong... That's the wrong thing. All right. Let's see what our cargo rocket is trying to load. Another 8.2k of ammo. The items that were in the rocket suddenly become not there anymore. Uh, indeed. That... That's how rocket work. I think I'm missing something. So we didn't load any space capsules this time, right? Yeah. That's going to give us a really excessive buffer, but maybe I don't care. Because now it's not going to launch. It's not going to try to load anything, actually. Actually, actually, I'm surprised we're not trying to empty this. Hold up, what? Why are we... Why are we trying to unload a space apps? Oh, because we ended up with one extra space capsule over here somehow. Probably the one included in the cargo rocket. So now our, our one filter that we're trying to unload extra stuff, even though nothing should be in the rocket at the moment, It's trying to unload the space capsule uh, that isn't in here because this has more than it's supposed to. Hmm. Hey, how did you manage to place cargo rocket silo in editor extension? When I tried, I got some error about it not being a valid surface or something. Uh, I went to a save that is not using our extra surface for editor extensions. We've actually got um, we've actually got a whole universe here to play with. Hence, we can do experiments with spaceships that run on Steam and stuff like that. Uh, if you just go to New Game, uh, there's actually a scenario for that with editor extensions. Rockets travel 23 seconds to destination and it takes longer than 23 seconds to build. So it works out pretty good, indeed. Um, okay, so there's two problems with this. Uh, the worst problem is... It sends one extra space capsule. Because it doesn't... Hmm. I mean... It wouldn't have done that if I didn't have that signal, except... Oh, that actually makes it really tricky. The fact that it's space capsules specifically that we're trying to send through here because of this one that gets counted. Or rather, this one extra that gets sent over here. Uh, I guess I can just do this again, actually. It's not that difficult. We're going to go something just like this. If space capsule is less than 10, output space capsule. 10 is probably excessive. Input count. Uh, 
Actually... Hmm... I could set it to not pack any space capsules unless we run out entirely. No, I definitely want it to pack space capsules. I mean, we're packing enough cargo rocket sections to launch... Uh... Five times... Uh, 25 times, actually. So if anything, I should probably be setting this to, like, 24. Well, that would be if we sent a cargo rocket full of nothing but capsules. I don't know, 10 is probably reasonable-ish. But yeah, we're going to do the same thing, whereby we check if we have... Um, if there's less than 10 space capsules here, send a signal of 10 space capsules. So that should mean... How many do we have? Output signals negative two. Oh, we have two space capsules over here? No, oh, we have twelve. Hold on, what? Negative twelve. Oh, because this isn't... Yeah, no, we can't just copy this. Because it's looking at a different resource. Uh, this is one of those... Limits of Factorio Combinators problems. I want to... I think we need an Arithmetic. I hate that this is necessary here, but... It's basically going to have to say... If Space Capsule less than 10 output Space Capsule times 1 and then times 10. I really wish the uh, Decider Combinators would just let us set an arbitrary constant as the output. Um, just to be really clear, I'm going to get set this to space capsule. So we're just going to go if less than 10, output 10. Probably already a mod for that, indeed. Although people people learn from my circuits, so I don't want to do too much that's not vanilla. Uh, Glenn Denny, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so that should not fix the problem with the space capsules, apparently. Output. Oh, I see. I think I got confused here. We want to read the positive values from the robot network for these two decider combinators. So now we're not asking for any more space capsules. Which means... Why is it still trying to... Hold on, what? Do the signal transmitters have a delay or something? Negative 12. Oh. Hold on, what? Oh! Okay, I guess we just need a greater than zero on either side of this. Uh, we're just going to go each greater than zero output each input count. There we go. So now all of a sudden we're apparently... How much ammo do we have here? 9.1k. Which means we should be looking for like 900. There's actually too much in here. 
So it is correcting itself. Uh, is the command not working? Wait, let me check the check the site. Um, you can scroll down as well, by the way, to check the mods. Let's see. Commands. The bloody bot turned itself off again. Yeah, I probably have to update the, uh... Uh, here we go. I need to update the alias to be the right game, but other than that, it's not my fault it turned itself off for no reason. Bludger bot, indeed. Underneath these. Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. So now the only question is, if we somehow run out of, can we keep basically this system, but get it to launch arbitrarily, arbitrarily, if we are so low on space capsules, if we have zero space capsules, um, can we get it to launch what would normally be prematurely? But should really send a message, error 17 shutting down or something? Indeed. That rings a bell. And if I don't change anything about this, uh, this system, that should be the launch, uh, the last launch. So, on this side we've got... Oh, we need to do this first. We've got 10k uh, ammo, 989 cargo rocket sections packed, 275 cargo rocket sections as well, and 13 space capsules. Which means we're not trying to load anything at all on this side. Okay, so that's a good start. Now, can we get it to not need 500 stacks of, or more, 500 to 1,000 stacks of stuff on this end before it stops launching? Um, hmm. Hmm. It's actually a really difficult problem. It seems like such an easy decision to make as a human, but like, figuring out the actual low-level logic for it is not so easy. When do we need to launch the rocket? If we are completely out of space capsules, send a launch signal, but don't actually, because we have to make sure the space capsules are actually in this rocket. I could have deciders here that say, like... That say what exactly? Because we'd run out of space capsules, and then we'd, ha we'd have to wait until the media defense ammo gets low enough to trigger launching. Do you always get satellite message spam? Uh, probably because I have... Where is it? This is probably it. Yeah, I've got a satellite rocket silo launching endlessly. 
That's all that is. Alright. I might take a little break for a moment. Uh, maybe I'll come up with something with a... when I blank my mind for a second. Uh, let's do some words on stream. Hopefully it'll be... it'll work more diligently than our bot. Each outputting a green signal when their conditions are met. So you have 10 deciders for 10 different resources. I have deciders on the one side with each resource I would like the rocket to launch and then just set all the values and let it do its thing. What? Yep, Morpheus is out, has it right? Yeah, I did a build last time where we had different request thresholds for different resources, and basically we would get the rocket to launch if any one resource got low enough, but it didn't, like, make use of a full cargo rocket, which I don't like. Alright, let's paste... whoops. Let's set this up. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Nicely done. Let's continue with SpaceX. And I had a little think about it. I think this is about as good as it's going to get, honestly. At least as far as I can foresee. Um, the nice thing about this system is if I want to add one more um, high throughput item to be delivered by this system, I can really, really easily. So, media defense installation ammo is the only one that doesn't follow any special rules here so far. But we're going to need iron plate to make liquid rocket fuel. And I think it's going to be easier in the long run. We, we, we hardly need any throughput of iron plate, to be clear. But if we say... Um, 50,000... Iron plate. It's going to try filling up a whole cargo rocket with iron plate. And then the nice thing is as well, with the arbitrary ordering of signals, um, our space capsule just happens to be a higher priority than our high throughput items that are under uh, ammo, like equipment and, and combat, or uh, what is it called? Manufacturing. Like with the ordering of item ID, anything that comes from logistics or production, which we're not going to want vast quantities of, is going to implicitly be a higher priority to put into the cargo rocket than anything from these tabs. So that actually works out really conveniently. Will it try to fill up another cargo rocket when your 50k iron plate becomes 49k? Um, when the iron plate becomes 49k, It'll put 1k iron plate into this cargo rocket, and that goes the same for any other resource. Um, if you can reliably... Uh, if you can count on consuming like 500 stacks of whatever it is you're sending um, consistently, you don't... Theoretically, you don't need to ask for 500 stacks of any one item here. Uh, the fewer items that we're sending through this way, the more we kind of need to ask for 500 stacks for each, right? Um, but if we if we were to send iron, copper, steel, and so on and so on to an outpost that consumes a lot of stuff um, at relatively high throughput, um, we probably wouldn't have to uh, to ask for an entire cargo rocket of each of these things. But I mean, normally when we send these things, we send a whole cargo rocket anyway. So like, all we're really doing is, provided the throughput is low enough, um, we're just enabling one cargo rocket silo to load up all of the different resources that need to come over here. And we're squeezing in our space capsules at the start of it. And if we were to ask for chests or belts or pipes or inserters or anything under production, that would just happen to have a higher priority. So we wouldn't need to... We wouldn't need to... Um, to ask for a whole cargo rocket full of those. All we need to be able to count on for this to work consistently is that we run out of, like, media defense, ammo, iron, and or cargo rocket sections um, faster than we run out of space capsules. 
Which I guess means... If anything, I should underestimate how many space capsules we need, right? No, overestimate. Yeah, I think I should calculate it as like... Uh, 500 times 5, 2,500. That's 25 rockets. Um, putting aside the fact that we get... Uh, we actually get um, some cargo rocket sections back when we send a rocket. I'm thinking I should probably set this to like 30 or even 50. Fifty space capsules is a lot, though. Hmm. What's the rate of space capsules required to launch one fragment of... to iron consumed to make the fuel? Oh, it's barely anything, I think. I mean, it's 80k... It's just over 80k liquid rocket fuel to send it back to Hagen. And we get 50... Uh, 50 liquid rocket fuel for, per iron plate, right? So... 1600... 16 stacks, actually, of iron plate uh, is enough to... If my math is not incorrect, that's a lot more than I thought. Yeah, that ad that adds up relatively quickly. What's the harm in overstocking of on capsules? Uh, no real harm, except for it just takes a lot to make all those capsules to get started. But that's true of the cargo rocket sections uh, as well. But yeah, uh, especially if we ignore the cargo rocket sections, uh, sorry, the space capsules, um, this would actually be a pretty good system if we want to send multiple uh, high through, uh, high volume resource types, but not super high throughput. Um, we could actually just do that with only one cargo rocket. Very handy. In fact, I could probably go ahead and request all sorts of resources here. Except again, the thing is, we need it to get to 500 to auto launch. Usually pad out a rocket fill with lower priority stuff, for example, concrete, to rid a fire base. I can't really rely on that as a automatic thing that gets consumed long term, right? Fixed my whole Vulcanite setup with logistic belt condition and sent extra to Crusher. Works fine. Nice. Good to hear. Alright, so let's make a nice, neat version of this. And we'll fit it to at least a corner of a rail block. Uh, let's see. Way down here, I guess. Do I not... Oh, I'm not using cheat mode. That way bots actually have to place this stuff. Okay, so we want a input station. Uh, right about here. Pretty sure that's the middle. That 
is indeed the middle. We're going to have a requester. We're going to have usual rail signals. And we're going to have bulk rail unloader. Um, that's, that's a loader actually. I can't remember the layout that I decided on earlier. How do your stations work? Because you use LTN, right? Indeed I do. What are you working on today, T-Hacks? Uh, we're doing, we're trying to do a fancy multi-cargo rocket thing. I can't quite come up with, like, the ultimate version of this that I'm super happy with, but I did make a pretty big step forward, I think. Uh, and yes, I use LTN most of the time. There are exceptions where it's better to use a vanilla train. Like, if you want trains to pick up just whatever happens to be in a certain station. It counts stacks as well. Well, I was going to go that far with, like, the circuit logic and stuff, but what I ended up doing uh, tentatively is basically... We've got a couple of exceptions here with cargo rocket sections and space capsules, but I'm basically just asking for 500 stacks of the high th high volume items and we're launching when this is full and because the uh signal the arbitrary ordering of signals with the uh item ids favors uh top to bottom left to right and left to right on these tabs um it's just so going to happen to load space capsules before it loads cargo rocket sections or media defense installation ammo and in general things that we don't need a lot of sent by the cargo rocket will get loaded first so we don't we probably don't need any uh, fancy prioritization system for that one I hope can see an issue forming when you request part of a stack. Uh, the ca the cargo rocket will actually launch when the last stack has something in it, whether you like it or not. If you set it to just launch on cargo full, um, unless you force it to wait for a green signal, um, it will waste a bit of a stack if you just set it to cargo full. So it won't get deadlocked that way. In my solution, I just didn't bother with complete stacks and ignored the last stack might not be full. Then it was simple to do multi-rocket, multi-item rockets. Okay, cool. Um, let's do our loader like this. And... Cargo rocket silo. Is this really like the neatest that I can do here? Technically, I could have it so that we have two different train stops, but so we could do fluid on one side and solids on the other. But I don't know that that's necessarily going to end up looking that good. This could go back a bit. That's not a cargo rocket silo. I thought I saw one here. There we go. If I were to have train stop like this, and we wouldn't be able to have two trains here at the same time, then pipe uh, pumps would go here. And I 
I don't love that, especially because I can't fit loaders properly to go into here. I could use stack inserters, but like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. The system that we're designing is going to use bots for loading. This isn't our high through... This isn't our one resource um, kind of deal. So we're definitely not doing that. Can we get these two? There we go. Alright, so let's start with our standard... One, two, three, four, five... I think that's where that goes. Fantastic. Requester. Straight into the bot network. Uh, we'll do probably the same loading system up here. And I would like to have lots of storage here. Nice dense storage. Uh, we'll need some robo ports. Probably like this. Some liquid rocket UL. I really don't need two of these, but it looks kind of good. Oh, um, the liquid rocket fuel. I guess we're going to do it this way. Unless... Hmm, we'd have to have some pipe sections. That'll connect directly to the silo. And I could have a container connected to that. Does this work? Not quite. I have to move that robo port. I don't like that at all. Ouchie. In my solution, I just didn't bother with. Oh, yeah, I read that already. The other way out is to not multi-load a rocket, but you have to outlay a lot of infrastructure that way. Yeah, I don't like that. For something, like for an outpost, just needing ammo and cargo rocket sections, and maybe capsules. Um, I really don't like needing multiple cargo rockets uh, to supply that. We could do it something Thing like this. I really don't like that. So how about... Should be way more than enough storage. If I do more than one of these in a block, they're gonna have to share robo networks. But that's probably not that big of a deal. Oh, unless I can set this to logistic mode. That's still going to be too big. They're going to connect. Wait, no, logistic mode would be even worse for what I was thinking of. What I really want is, like, mini, log uh, mini robo ports, but we don't have those yet. Um... Hmm. If the cargo rocket has more in it than the target has, could be trigger for an emergency launch. More in it than the target has. Hmm. So if the cargo rocket has more cargo rocket sections than there are detected on the other end... Maybe. That 
That's an awful lot of storage space that we're going to need. Again, I could ask for less than 500 stacks of, like, each of these, but something has to reach the point where 500 stacks are needed to be sent. Or, really hard mode, the, the way I tried to design it the first time is... We reach some threshold where some resource is low enough that we want to send a rocket. And then we try and calculate how to fill out the rest of the cargo rocket so that we're not wasting space with different resources that at once. That's a tricky one to say the least. You know what? If we're using robots, uh, we can probably... We could probably put this where we like. And have the good kind of pumps here. We could put this here. I don't think I mind this. Um, technically, I could have just one inserter to load things. I mean, the whole point of this is it's a relatively low throughput kind of setup, right? Whoops. I can't redo, I can't undo that undo. We're going to need a requester, and then one of these. Goes here, actually. This is unconditional. This is requesting whatever. Launch 10 CRS to top up the one. Cargo rocket silos? Launch silos. Um, okay, let's put storage about here. How many stacks is that? 48 times 25. 1200, that is two and a bit cargo rockets. Which, uh... For our three resources that we were thinking of using, should be enough. Okay. So we got liquid rocket fuel. We've got whatever solids. I think I need to copy paste some more of this to to finish building this with some expedience. We need greater than zero. We need, could could you stop with the noise? Apparently not, even if I delete you. Okay, never mind. Uh we need to load our cargo rocket. With space capsule. I should have just copied this and then. Not like that, actually. Stop, 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 stop. And then set this up. Make those fast inserters, and then they've already got the conditions. Alright, um, cargo rocket section. 
and then item on ground be gone can I do a river pot there we go So where's the robocod going to fit in all this? Preferably here. It's actually looking pretty neat so far. I'm going to put this here. And... Make that something like this. That actually looks pretty good. We're gonna have... Reading from the cargo rocket. Each greater than zero, minus all of these signals and one and a hundred of these. Actually... Since we're going to have the 1 and 100 anyway, negative 1, negative 100, does that need to be on its own little red wire? Wait, where am I looking? Stupid map jump. Yeah, no, I think we could just... Set that as green wire. And set these to less than zero. Where is that rocket going? Oh, right. Oh, this is that rocket. Never mind. Uh, I think I set those other ones wrong now. Okay, so these are less than zero, and this starts as negative one, negative a hundred. And then negative a million for the signals we absolutely do not want. Green wire can connect like this. Um, and that, as a negative, goes to a list of stuff that we're trying to put onto the cargo rocket. Um, up this end, we need two combinators for input for this one. Green wire and red wire, so that this doesn't become a memory cell. So we're picking one resource at a time, and we're giving it the stack size. Then... Hmm. If I'm really going to limit it to one stack inserter, I'd better be damn sure that the overall throughput is not that high. But it's literally just media defense installation ammo, cargo rocket sections, and space capsules, right? Hmm. That might be okay. We can always add more, one way or another. So we need to read positives only from our receiver dish. And that connects to what would normally be our list of stuff. 
I'll just until until we're done, I'm just gonna put this here as a sort of visual aid. So normally we would put static requests for what we want in the cargo rocket uh, right here. And that goes up to here as well. And then times negative one again for all of that goes to our thing for removing stuff. I'm not sure how necessary it is to be able to remove things from this, but I would definitely rather have that extra safety measure than not. Okay, so I'm pretty sure all of these can just connect like that. Can I not flip this around? I've noticed some problems with... the button that lets me rotate combinators in a way that we can't with vanilla. Mod settings? Wait, no. Uh, controls? Picker dollies? No. Let's see. Quick bar, tools, panels, miscellaneous mods. Here we go. Picker dollies. Numpad dot. Rotate oblong combinator. Why is it not working sometimes? Oh, now it's working. After I rotated it normally. Okay, that's weird. Uh, let's see. That could go here. That could go here. And... We need to set requests on this. I think that's just going to be like that. Very cool. I wish it would stay where I'm, where I'm focusing. Uh, it's actually the same as the set filters on the... Yeah, no, that's right. Okay. So our wire is going to look something like this. It's doing it again. I, I don't understand when or why it doesn't let me rotate this with picker dollies. So I just, I'll just do it like this, I guess. And then these two... Oh, that's already pretty good, actually. Alright, let's delete this system. And find out if this one is capable of supplying to this thing up here. So we're just going to delete all the storage, and it should start loading up something. Oh, we have no power here. That would probably help. There's a conflict with editor control for advancing one tick. Oh, I remember changing that. But... Perhaps it got changed back somehow. Tick once. Yeah, I actually I actually removed that at some point. Well there's your problem. That's probably how we kept getting it paused when I didn't decide to pause it. Alright. We are loading. Seems good. Let's set up a requested train station here. 
Um, we're going to have to read from what's in the robot network. I hate that that wire connects that way. Like, across the signal receiver. This build was looking so good, aesthetically. A podcast about engineering disasters with slides, indeed. Um... I could put the RoboPort up here, but it's still gonna, like... That still looks bad. Uh, it's gonna look bad no, ha no matter how I do the wiring. Um, can we remove the... giant power connector thing? Maybe if we put our substations in... We'll find our salvation, our, our aesthetic salvation. Can we not have those wires connect? Like normally? The Where's my nav set? Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It's actually very neat. Okay, and I guess we could connect our wire a bit like this. I, I hate this less. WTYP? Uh, I, I think I know what that means and I'm blanking on it right now. Well, there's your problem. Yes, yes. Alright, and we need to check the fluid that we've got here as well. Oh, that might look better. Um, marginally less worse. Okay, so we're looking for, let's see, cargo, cargo rocket section packed, because if we're putting these into the rail network, we should probably pack them anyway. We're going to need to unpack some cargo rocket sections while we're here. Unless we want to request the, the unpacked cargo rocket sections as well. I don't think we want to do that. Cargo. Unpacking cargo rocket sections. Okay, cool. How fast is this? 45 per, s oh, per minute. Just under one per second. It's like less than two minutes to have a cargo rocket silo ready to go. So I think what I might do is limit this chest to just one of these. Or maybe five. Put a request to chest over here. Right. Cargo rocket section 20. That's way more than. Uh, that's exactly enough to launch a cargo rocket, actually. Good morning, T Hex and chat. Yeah, to what to? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, so that's pretty neat. Um, we're going to look for packed cargo rocket sections. I just realized uh, 500 is 
6.25 train loads. Well, we're going to be emptying this anyway. Uh, the question is, do we have the storage for it here? 48 times 25. Uh, that is... Yeah, 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 I already calculated this. That's two and a bit cargo rockets. We can fit 500 of either. Plus a little bit more. And I could always put a bit more storage here if I really need to. So we're going to look for... Act, cargo rocket sections. 500. Uh, let's do the space capsules first. Whoops. Oh, and we'll allow short trains. And we'll set the... Uh, this is the millionth time where I wish I could have different request thresholds for different items. On the same station. What's today's project? A multi-item cargo rocket. Um, that's going to supply... Our outpost with uh, a few space capsules, a lot of cargo rocket sections, and a lot of media defense ammo. And we're not going to have like three different... Uh, we're, we're not going to waste uh, a whole lot of space in the cargo rocket. We are going to have to have an awful lot stored on the other side to make that happen, but I think in the long run that's better. And... Um, we're not going to have to have, like, too many cargo rocket silos. We're just going to have one to support each outpost. That's the idea, anyway. Alright, so... 500... Oh, I was going to do the capsules first. Um... I guess, like, 20 of these. Uh, cargo rocket section packed, 500, and ammo. Was it, oh, it was some big number, 10k, all right. 10,000. 500 stacks. So theoretically, if just one of these two main resources was completely empty on the other end, we could fill a cargo rocket with just that and therefore trigger the launch condition. Let's test it real quick. Why is this empty? I mean, I know why it's empty, but why, if that is empty, are we not loading ammo? We're looking for 10k ammo. We've got the infinity storage. Oh, we don't have logistic bots here for some reason. No, we do have logistic bots here. What are we requesting here? Cargo rocket section packed. Okay. And... Logistic storage zero. Do... Aggregate passive providers... Oh, it was bugged. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay then. That's looking pretty neat, honestly. That's looking very neat. We could easily have four of those in a block. Uh, and we could probably just have the one... I mean, they, they would all share resources, because they'd be connected, and that'd probably be fine. It'd be more efficient, as a matter of fact. They wouldn't all share liquid rocket fuel, which I could arrange, but it's probably fine if they don't. Uh, 
Alright, can we get this thing to launch? Double check that it's working the same way as we had it set up before. It's probably really no need to control the stack size with these. The only stack size that's greater than one is, um... Oh, there's no liquid rocket fuel. Also, why are we still trying to load cargo rocket sections? Uh... We're trying to load another 30. Oh, I see. Because normally the rocket would have launched by now. It's these 30 space capsules that are holding up. Like, we're trying to load 500 cargo rocket sections packed, but there isn't room for them. I guess I could add a condition... oh, easy. Uh, I could add a condition to this where E is not equal to zero, except... Hmm. I have just the thing, actually. E is actually... Oh, F equals 500. That's an F signal, right? Let's double check. Uh, cargo rockets, F, full slots. Or we could say E equals zero. Or in this case, if I take from these... To if E equals negative 1 million, exactly, that'd do it. If E is greater than negative 1 million, so basically if the rocket is not full, that inserter is enabled. And we still have the filter so that we don't pass E through here. So it should stop as soon as it gets to here. And stop. Fantastic. Alright, so we're setting it to test pad 1 on Nalvis and launch on Argo Full. Is this a rocket rocket? Um, is there any other kind? sure if I understand. Oh, I guess this is going to have five cargo rocket sections sitting in the output whenever it finishes a recipe, right? Yeah, we can just set that to one stack. Uh, Mr. Jink, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A rocket which has rockets in it. Uh, it does have um, space capsules and packed cargo rocket sections, if that's what you mean. Alright. So it should load like 30 stacks of packed, or minus however many we lost here. Uh, plus whatever we lost here. And then it'll switch over to... Oh, it's actually got another 400 to go. Test landing pad. We've definitely set that correctly, otherwise we wouldn't have these requests.
Hmm. Why is it loading so many... We've got 470 cargo rocket sections here. Oh, I know why. Because we're not unpacking them. Because of the way I set up this logic before. Um... I don't think we should set up that logic this way. We should just unpack them as we need them. And put... Uh, 500 cargo rocket sections on this wire here. And then I just forgot how this was set up. Okay. This goes here. And this goes here as well. So we're subtracting what we've got. This is, these are, this is what we're asking for, and this 30, if there's less than 10, is what we're asking for. Okay, cool. And then we'll just unpack as needed on this end. So like, if cargo rocket sections equals zero or something. All right. Which means this design here doesn't have the floor that I thought it did for a second there. And now we're unloading the extra cargo, packed cargo rocket sections that we didn't actually need. All right, cool. I think that's it. And let me just refine this design as well. Uh, do as neat as I can do it. So it's really just this part that we're interested in. Um, positives only, times negative one. Uh, but if there's less than ten space capsules, we ask for an arbitrary number of space capsules. And that can go there. And then we have... All of these are on the same wire. That is fairly neat. Can we do better? Hmm, almost. Uh, almost perfect. Let's see. If those go up there. That looks a bit weird. I think that's a bit too packed in and harder to read. Let's just do this. That's much easier to follow. So the constant combinators are stuff we want. The 30 space capsules are something we want, but it's conditional. And... This is just a filter and then negative of what's in the robot network. I might move that up like so. And match that like so. That actually looks less organic. Yeah, I think this is easiest to follow and it's fairly neat. Okay, so we'll get rid of the wind turbines because we don't want those on every planet. 
get rid of the cheat items. And I think that's pretty much it. I hope. And this is going to be uh, requesting space capsules, packed cargo rocket sections, and ammo, and liquid rocket fuel to go into a cargo rocket silo. Oh, I almost forgot the liquid rocket fuel. Let's say 100k. Short trains permitted. Request stack threshold 80. Uh, here's the trouble. I have to set the request stack threshold to the lowest number for what we're requesting, and space capsules are expensive. So I guess I'm going to set that down to half a half of a cargo wagon. But I think that's it. It's actually pretty neat for what it is. Yeah, I don't mind this at all. Alright, let's blueprint that sucker. Oh, I'll just double check. Yeah, we can easily do four of these in a block. No trouble at all. Alright, so... Cargo, rocket, silo... Outpost resupplier. How about... I mean, we could configure this for other purposes, I guess. Multi... Rocket... Let's just call it multi-rocket. Alright, so we'll put that in... Where will I put it, actually? Down here for now. And blueprint this as well. Um, Multi-rocket requester. Seems good. Not that this part's complicated, but I don't want to have to redo it. And rethink it. I'll put that right next to uh, the multi rocket. And I think it's about to time to jump back into our game. Good day, Woodbrot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so now we have something that we can comfortably get our construction train to build back on Hagen. Uh, I might have to supply it with some cargo rocket silos. I'll throw in some landing pads while we're at it. And I can't think of anything else that we have to add to this. I guess we're going to find out. What's this train doing? Oh, it's picking up what I just asked for. Fantastic. And then... I don't want it to be part of the same logistic network here. Which it won't be, but if I if I end up using the whole block, it will. 
So I'll build that a bit further away. Probably down here. It's a good place to start actually. And our construction train. Oh, it's already loaded with that. Beautiful. Uh, our construction train's not going to have to go very far. Oh, it's still got that order from before. Did I not finish this? No, nope. coal mine is working just fine. Fantastic, which means we have steel back here. Or not that much steel, I guess. Uh, well, we have coal on the way to make steel, at least. Uh, anyway, let's make sure our construction train... I didn't give it a condition to stay there. Inactivity, 30 seconds. And then back to the emptier, just to make sure. In case it picks up something weird. Oh, and we're already delivering ammo and cargo rocket sections to it. Beautiful. Oh, I don't think I asked for a signal receiver. Or the storage chests, for that matter. Okay, so we need rainbow chests and signal stuff. Um, added to... Added to our train. So let's go with 50 of each of these. Maybe some regular chests as well. I don't necessarily want to add every type of chest. We'll see how much room we have. Actually, I'm sure we probably do have enough room. Especially if we stick with, like, small chests and really big ones. Uh, the other thing we want is... Uh, signal transmitters and receivers. So, one stack of these, one stack of these. Stack size is 20 and 10 for some reason. And then we're going to copy... Copy that over here. we not get that built? Does the train not have the means to build this? It does, it's just not loaded just yet. Here we go. As soon as that stack is done, we're going to get some constant combinator. I like how the construction train can expand this part itself. Alright, so we're going to copy that combinator over here. And then we're going to get uh, those items delivered to this cargo wagon. And we can finish our build. And we'd better do it soon because it's not receiving a positive signal for the stuff that's already been dropped off. Okay. What's being delivered here? Rainbow chests. Fantastic. Away we go. I think I already had steel chests in here somewhere. Maybe not. Roboport? Ah, uh, good point. Yeah, I don't think I have roboports here yet. Um, alright. 
Rapid pot. And Rapid pot. How are you gonna put in the logistic bots into the robo pot? Oh no. Well, I'm gonna have to at least temporarily do a little bit extra. Hmm. I'll have to put a robo pot up here. Am I going to do filter inserter? Yeah, I have done plenty of builds in the past where the rail network will seed the logistic bots ahead of time, uh, automatically. But I kind of just forgot this time. All right, so we need to at least temporarily request logistic bots here. And hopefully we've got 50 available. We do. That's a steel plate, actually. That's not a bad thing. Uh, I need to change the request stack threshold down to 1. Till this light goes yellow, and that should mean bots are on their way. Any second now... There we go. Bots are on their way. And I can get rid of that. Now we're going to have the construction train roll up. To build those... Oh, did we have the robot pots here? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, what's our request threshold here? It's literally one stack. Okay. This is asking for two stacks, actually, because we're multiplying that by two. Do we not have robo ports up here? We do. We've only got ten. Uh, let's bump that up a little bit. Wait, we're asking for twenty. How have we got exactly half of what we've been asking for? Oh, because we've got 20 RoboPots here already. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, I didn't have those before. The train network snuck these in while we weren't looking. Alright. Um, so there should be... There's not enough steel chests. Alright, how about we cancel those this time? Otherwise we'll never load the rest of it. Fantastic. Oh, and we've even got some landfill. 2.2k, actually. Nice. Uh, but that should be enough to send our train. Almost there. I don't think I'll send it back to the emptier for a while because... We're having trouble getting all these steel chests here for the moment. Uh, besides, I don't think we're going to be... I guess we're going to pick up a couple of items once we're done building this. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal. 
All right, could you please wait for a while? And we're going to set this to logistic box. And they're already in this chest, aren't they? Okay. Um. Hmm. That's a little bit of a conundrum. How about... Filter, logistic box, and then bring those back here, and then we need this to actually be an input, which it's not. Uh, jump to the editor, cut that, jump back to Hagen. Goes there, and now our inserter can grab our logistic parts. And once that's done, we'll just remove these two. Oh, actually, that's that's still a problem because oh no, okay. How about we just make that a requester for Logibots? And then take these out, actually. Oh, that's one way to get these in that direction. I think we've got our... We've got 50 logistic bots here. Fantastic. We, we got there eventually. Uh, now let's put the storages back where they belong. And then... We're going to point this at Granis. Uh, Grandis Landing Pad, Grandis Multi-Rocket Requests, Launch Trigger Cargo Full. We can send our train back, I think. And now on Grandis we need... Uh, I don't want to rip this up. But... We need that uh, circuit stuff that I designed before. I think I'll just borrow this, since this way we don't need another RoboPort to get this information. That's fairly neat. Okay. These two are just inputs, so it doesn't matter that that's connected to there. I think we just got some extra requests because we stopped telling LTN that we had stuff. Um, but the fact that I just saw a really quick response from solid rock, uh, solid fuel is a good sign. Uh, yeah, we're going to be saturated on that sooner or later. We are going to have to vent petroleum at some point just so we can get our liquid rocket fuel which is totally saturated by the way i guess that's not that surprising at this point may as well go ahead and store a bit more of it Uh, and then I think I've already set this one up, except that it doesn't have a destination on Hagen. So we're just going to do something very similar to this um, in Hagen somewhere. I could.
could do it. I could do it right here, actually. We could do the sending of stuff that Granis needs and the receiving from Granis right next to each other. That might not be the worst idea. So we'll do... Well, let's design it in Editor. It'll be nice and easy. Wait, no, I can't do that too much. That's why we jumped over to the other save. But for the most part... We can we can literally do it all except for the cargo rocket, uh, the landing pad. I'll just double check the size of it. It is nine by nine, I believe. Yes. Okay. So nine by nine. We're going to have provider over here, and I can't put I can't have it connect straight to the bulk rail loaders, and even if I could, uh, it would cause it to put the recycled cargo rocket sections and space capsules in there anyway. So we don't quite want to do that. Uh, I think I'll use a delivery cannon chest. And we'll do the usual setup so that short trains can pick up from here if we want them to. And That actually has a middle, that's cool. I don't think we need to use loaders here, but we may as well. Two and a half stacks of uh, four fragments per second seems good. Vulcanite core fragment. Hmm. I was going to say maybe it would be wiser to have it drop directly into the processing block, but no, it's fine. Also, I'm going to need a robot network to deal with cargo rocket crashes. Yeah. I hate cargo rockets. Um, so we're going to have this robot network expand a bit more than I planned for, actually. This just, on this end, this just means expanding these robo ports out a bit more. But on Hagen, um, I guess in this case it'll be fine, as long as I don't have any other robot networks close by that I don't want to connect. Okay. So... This will be our cargo rocket silo. We're gonna need a vanilla train to pick up the unwanted items. Uh, which I've already got built somewhere else. Um, like this. Seems good. Whoa, that doesn't look right. That does not seem good. Uh, I don't want them blocking each other though. So I'll move that down. 
to the usual spot, perhaps. Or maybe up a little bit more. Since it's just a short train. And we can have it closer to what it's picking up from. That's a bit too close. That's perfect. Alright, so we can't blacklist with a express loader. So I think we'll just use an inserter here. Isn't that what we did on without ice anyway? Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. So we're just going to blacklist Ignite Core Fragments. And I'll probably put a RoboPort down here to pick up anything that's not supposed to be in this robot network. Uh, like, for example, scrap from the crashed rockets. And we'll take that back to the mall. But for now... That layout right there should be fine. Seems good. Let's send our construction train over and see if there's anything we've forgotten to supply it with. Set that to inactivity 30 seconds. And I need to give it a cargo landing pad right here. Fantastic. Looks like that's everything except for power. Um, let's put that... Could I maybe put this down here? Substation over this way. And that doesn't look too bad, I guess. Blacklist core fragment ball. Okay, cool. Very cool, actually. So now we're going to expand this robot network out this way. Um, I might even have to... Nope, 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 nope. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll come back when I've finished. No, 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 actually, I want you to come back now. Uh, let's say 60 seconds of inactivity. No, 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 no. Bad. Bad train. Uh, inactivity, 60, and nothing else. Okay. So we want a robot port over here. It's probably not going to be enough how far away the rockets can crash. I might add a RoboPort that's in construction mode. Um, but we need to have a requester chest that's going to have constant combinator and we're going to read from the robot network and we're going to have negative a million for anything that's supposed to be in this block. Or if we want to put a specific limit on something, we could put a specific negative number. Um, but once we've whitelisted things, we're going to set requests on, uh, on that chest. Okay. I could use a couple more express loaders so that it doesn't need any electricity, but this is fine. Alright, so what do we got? 
space capsules, cargo rocket sections packed, regular cargo rocket sections. Cargo rocket sections packed or otherwise. Uh, what else for solids? Media defense installation ammo. And that's pretty much it. Right? Oh, I probably want iron plate here as well. Since we'll be sending that so that we can make solid rocket fuel. And I kind of want... I think I want a request, uh... oh, okay, oh, the train went back, didn't it? That's what that sound was. Um, I was thinking of throwing this stuff back into the cargo landing pad, uh, and I actually realized there is a reason to do that, because when there's a crash, the bots are going to pick up the vulcanite core fragments as well. We want them to come back to this cargo landing pad. So I won't whitelist the vulcanite core fragments, but they'll come back to here as opposed to here. Bert, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. All right, let's bring our train back. And I might just tell it to stay there indefinitely this time until I am finished with it. Okay. That doesn't need a filter. Set requests. Request from buffer chest. The fact that we're not requesting anything right now tells me that our whitelist is working. Could I get... Oh, there's no construction bots here. Uh, I need to seed this with construction bots as well before we get a cargo rocket crashing. But it won't be too long before I go back to Hagen. So I won't do the little dance again uh, to get some construction bots in here. You know what, I'll do a different dance to get bots in here, because uh, I'm going to have to set the request stack threshold. No, I could set the request threshold to 50. That would work without messing up what we're doing with space capsules. Uh, request threshold 50, but... Uh, 50 of each. Um, I need a RoboPort that we're not reading something else from. Unfortunately. Although, I could... Hmm. That doesn't work. Nope, we're going to need another RoboPort if I'm going to have it self-assemble. I would actually have to put the RoboPort close to the drop-off. Which would mean this chest would actually have to go up here. I don't love that. Nah, I think I'll just manually seed these. 
They're only going to be on our home base. I just don't want to ha have to add a whole, like, move the active provider chest and add a whole RoboPort just to control the bot inputs. Okay. But that's looking pretty good. Um, we're going to change this to Vulcanite Core Fragment. Should I just name it like that? I mean, it's a landing pad after all. Uh, we'll give it the text as well. Alright, and we're pointing this at Vulcanite Core Fragment, Launch Trigger Cargo Full, and now we're just waiting on Cargo Rocket Sections to come down here. So let's look at our build on Hagen. It is currently trying to load nothing. Brenner's multi-rocket requests. Brenner's multi-rocket requests. There we go. And now it's trying to load media defense installation ammo. I thought we had bots here. No, it's trying to load the space capsules actually. Which we don't have yet. So we're going to need 30, I should probably set this to 30. Uh, 30 space capsules. How many do we have back here? Definitely not 30. Uh, we have zero, not counting the one that's in here. That is suboptimal. Let's see if we can hurry it up. Space capsule. Uh, request. Uh... Yep, we've got all the inputs. Hello there, Pospec. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That should probably be a stack inserter. How long does this take? 60 seconds? I think it's still going to bottleneck on the inserter. Well, we've got all the resources anyway. Should I wait for the space capsules, or... I think I should, to be honest. I don't want to wrangle this into launching early with less space capsules, because it's not, not going to be as good of a proof of concept for using it later on. Uh, I'm really not liking... I really wish we could have different request thresholds for the different resources, though. Because dropping off so very few media defense installation ammo, uh, I'm not liking that. We're literally moving 13 at a time. I don't know how we're doing that, though. Request stack threshold 30. There should be... 600 delivered at a time, minimum. Or is it... Okay, provide thre stack threshold... Provide threshold is just how much stuff has to be available at pickup before LTN recognizes it. 
Request that threshold is how much has to be missing before we pick it up. Uh, what's the provide threshold back here? It's literally one? Well, there's your problem. Uh, it's possible that some things need to be one, but I'll try ten. Unless I use multiple stations, I can't really do too much about that. We're still moving one at a time? Or was that queued up before? Um, I could try stack threshold for provide. Yeah, let's try provide stack threshold 10 and see if that doesn't cause a little bit less train spam. That's our first space capsule coming out of here, apparently. No, products finished too. I wonder where they... Oh. Oh, did I link the... Oh, we need to stop that. Uh, where's this connected? Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna be... using this rocket... to resupply Granis, actually. Alright, I should probably rename this uh, landing pad right here so that it's not default. Kranis Mall. And I'll set the target from this one to Kranis Mall. Fantastic. So... If I need a landing pad for myself, I can get the bots to build this whenever I want. Okay, cool. How do we not have more core fragments here? Or any core fragments for that matter? This is full. That's enough to fill a cargo rocket. Provide stack threshold 80. Okay. Uh, long trains only. Long trains only. Request stack threshold 80. Negative 11k Vulcanite core fragment. Request stack threshold 80. But am I missing something? Combinator is switched on and connected. Negative 11k. That's 550 stacks. It's definitely more than 80. Oh, do we have trains working? Oh, well, there's your problem. There's your problem. Okay. Checklists. They're good. Alright, so we've stopped bringing two media defense installation ammo at a time. Uh, that's nice. How many capsules do we have here? Three? Six, actually. That's actually really good. We're almost there. What about media defense ammo? Uh, it's coming. 
think we'll make a dedicated build for that as well. At least for now. This is 96... 960 or something? 960. It's weird. When we search ammo, we can find uranium core fragments. Core fragment uranium ore. I don't know how it takes the word ammo with a soft search and finds that. But it's fine. Okay. Do we have any speed modules here? Uh, a little bit. Might be easier just to spam a few more of these temporarily. Your N E M, maybe fuzzy matching of capital letters. M A M O, interesting. Okay. So M O is at a hundred and eight. That's five stacks. Ten stacks, and we'll pick it up. I'm more interested in the space capsules right now. We're up to 10 as soon as this is done, actually. Fantastic. Okay. I really want to see this stuff working. Oh, and we wanted iron plate here as well. Um, we're going to need more storage. Yeah, we need like... Uh, like about 10 more storage chests, I think. Let's bring our construction train over, and we'll just set that to 30 seconds of inactivity, and that should get built without any further action or paying attention. And then we're going to request iron plate. Uh... We did figure out it's going to go through iron plate faster than expected. Uh, so yeah, I don't think there's any reason not to request 500 stacks of that. It's taking it from the mall. I'm not totally a fan of that, but I guess it's fine. Alright, so how's our loading going? We're looking for another 19 space capsules, actually. And our train just returned home and reloaded. Beautiful. Uh, I want to test. It sounds like we've got everything supplied enough that this will reload from scratch properly. Once we hear that sound again, we'll know. I 
I do wish we could stop with the text spam from the vanilla trains. Destination full indeed. Okay, so we've got crude oil. I forgot it's finite. Oh wow, that's actually... Yeah, that's actually a little bit of a problem, theoretically, in the long run, until we get to spaceships. Maybe I should use delivery cannons. I did use delivery cannons last time, but that was with... I think the core fragment stack size, they changed it from 100 to 20. It's not so good now, to say the least. But because this is K2, we're actually drawing from a finite supply of crude oil here. So eventually, we're just going to stop launching rockets from this place until I come and tap even more crude oil. I guess while we're waiting for the cargo rocket to load, I should probably uh, probably make another oil outpost. I'm sure the one we've got would last quite a while, but if we add this one to it, it should really last quite a while. All right, I think we'll do rail going this way. And not sure how I want to do the rest of this. Whoops. Uh, time to head over there and find out. Let's take the construction train with us. Just drive it down here. Let's see how it goes with build... Oh, did I give it construction bots? I did. But... Wow, that was scary. That, that was an aggressive... Pathfinding train. Oh, I didn't give it roboports. That would probably help. Ah, uh, I didn't bring solar panels. I, I didn't bring portable solar panels to power the roboports in this construction train. Well, fail. And now it doesn't have path to get back. Uh oh. Uh, let's just drive it manually. Please don't crash into me. And back you go. Alright. Number one thing to remember when we're forced to come back here bring robopods. Uh, bring uh, portable solar panels. Can I actually make some? I just need solar panels, actually. That might not be that hard. Did you try energy absorbers on the trains? Do you mean the Tesla thing? We could do that, but the solar panels are, are a lot less of a burden on the network. Vehicle roboports have pretty big batteries. Yeah, they do. But the frequency, the overall frequency with which we use them, uh, the solar panels are more than enough. Alright. Um, I might just go... I might just go and try and make those solar panels right now. Pretty sure we have some lying around. 
or did I use literally all of them? We've got a few. And I can make three already. How many did I use on these ones? I think it's six. Only five. Alright, cool. Let's just give them all of these. Not quite as much range as I would like, but it's fine. It'll work. Because we've done a double header with this train, we can get it in close as well without worrying. Uh, let me go ahead and request a lot more rail. It's going to take its sweet time charging that up. I need more electronic components. Was it five? Yeah, five big sort of uh big portable solar panels. I could probably make the rest of the personal roboports while I'm here. Or at least a couple more. Let's grab some LDS. Uh one, two three, four, five of these. That'll be close enough. Alright. For now though, I think... Oh, we actually need the rail as well. That would probably help. Rail, please make... 10k. That might be a bit much, actually. We don't have any steel beams. Do I have any assemblies? There we go. Let's do requesty and storage. One stack. I have a few of those. Need some more requests. To, whoop. Uh, hmm. Need some more requesters. Seems good. Some more greens. Oh, I see. And then turn that back into what it was. Alright, that should probably keep up with the rail production somewhat. Now then, do we have any rail lying around here? I don't think we do. Yeah, negative six rail. That's not a whole lot. And we need like... How much? We need about five, six hundred rail. Uh, to make this outpost. I've still got plenty of oil pump jacks. There go my bots. Oh, I forgot to place these into the construction train. I should probably do that since it's going to take a 
while for that to charge. How are we doing on Hagen? Also, did we stop that media? We did. Fantastic. Uh, we're actually just waiting on six more space capsules before we start really loading a lot of stuff in. We've made 26 over here so far. Nice. How many more of these? I've, it looks like I've got way more than enough pump jacks. Alright, let's go put this in our train. In we go. And robo bots. Should be pretty good. And I should be able to go ahead and get you to wait there until you've dropped all of your rail. Let's see what kind of range you have. Oh, better than expected. Oh, but the roboports haven't charged yet. Uh, I guess I can't remotely look at what's in the train for the equipment grid. Yeah, it's... Some of the roboports are getting close to charged, but that's about all we can say. Alright, I'll just steal this for now. The Art Show? Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Oops. Wait, why did that fail? Because there's stuff in the way. Okay. Let's start figuring out what this pickup station is going to look like. Um, probably... Something a little bit like this. Not actually with bulk rail loaders though, I just wanted to get a feel for the size of it. That might not be okay actually. That should be fine. Question mark. Oh, that's only if it's a short train. You know what, let's just remove this. And put this way back here. Easy enough. And then... Huge storage tank. Couple of pumps. Where are my pumps? I'm out of pumps. Okay. And then... What would be the best way to pipe these? That's a good question. Is our train building stuff yet? Oh, I took all the rail. Dub. Why can't we... Why can't our double-header train go back this way? Signals, probably. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's my bad. Okay.
Still do name and base, indeed. For subs, uh, for anyone with points. Uh, but if you don't have the channel points, I could make an exception this time. Let's see. Where were we doing name and base? Here we go. Uh, I, I'm guessing you want it on the, the new main base. The Hagen one. The art show. Do you want the numbers? Whoops. Let's try that again. Oh, and I haven't actually gone back here to physically place some of these yet. There we go. Hey, we go. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me add that as well. Fantastic. I want my name in the new base too. Okay. Sheep say meh. And we got Britley. Did I type that right? I think I did. Jakubas. That's, that's FNEI. <laughs> that's not what we're looking for. All right. Uh, Jacku Bounce. Uh, Dark Rail. Perfect. Mass Lander. Perfect again. We got Koha66 and Awesome Cat. Oh wow, they've been coming in so fast. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, Koha. And. Awesome Cat. Whoa, 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 what? What? No, bad. Bad. Uh, wild card. Awesome cat. Tick. There we go. Thanks, Murphy. RF Holloway. Okay. Uh, not again. Wildcard, RF Holloway, tick. Fantastic. That one might be a bit harder to see. Let's put it here, I guess. And did I miss anyone? Akira? Okay. Oh no, what did I just... There we go. Kira DK. Aziz Light. Aziz Light. All right. I think we're good. Probably. I'd better save it right there just to be sure that we don't lose that somehow. All clear. Okay, thank you. Alright, so how much time passed just now? Uh, we've got requests coming in for media defense ammo. We are still trying to load up another... Oh, we actually got all the space capsules. Wait, 28? That doesn't sound right. No, we're still trying to load... Huh? Oh, we're trying to load cargo rocket sections now. 
That's weird. 28 space capsules. Didn't I set it to say if there's a lack of space capsules, ask for exactly 30? I did. So why did it load 28? That's really oddly specific. And that's not the same bug we got before, either. Let's see, space capsule, 28. That's what we're receiving. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Actually, no, not wait a second. We have two space capsules here. So it's subtracting those somehow. Oh, I see. That's actually even better. So if we are down to less than 10 space capsules, request however many it takes to get it up to 30. Um, I really like that. I couldn't have designed it better myself. Literally, that was a happy little accident. Nice. I mean, calculated. Uh... Actual genius. I meant to do that. Accidental step ahead of yourself, indeed. Alright, let's try doing... Oh, no. Let's try doing our pipe like this, more or less. Oh, there's no more up here. I mean, there's, there's pipe way up here that we have to add. But there's a big gap. And we need this, though. Hmm. That one would be more convenient. What about here? That one's super inconvenient. Oh, that's good, actually. And then, I think I'll have these two like this. How dare you. So that's all of these ones down here. Now how do we connect this stuff? Hmm, probably something like this. Underground pipe, go burr. And... Bit of underground here. And then can we run this down? Uh, almost. I kind of hate this bit, but it could be worse, I guess. Can we fit this all under a sub? Uh, we actually can. Beautiful. Let's get some big power poles. Down this way. Substation. Right about here. I wonder if... No, absolutely not. Alright, so that can go there, that can go there. This one down here, and... Big pole like this. Not too bad. Another big pole over here, that's perfect actually. And then back this way. Fix the underground joint to the tank or it won't work. Underground joint to the tank. Oh, I see. All the more deceptive because we did see crude oil in here. 
Good catch. Mr. Chink, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And welcome to everyone who came out of the woodwork simultaneously for the name and base as well. That I couldn't keep up with. Okay. How's our train? Oh. Oh, I forgot it's stuck because I didn't get the signals finished. Surely... Oh, it doesn't have any construction? Wait. It's got construction bots. It's got power. Oh, is it because it hasn't, like, stopped somewhere? That's probably why. It might even be able to place those signals itself. Uh, yeah, but it still needs the rail to make that work. Should be able to go home as soon as I place those. I ran out of rail? Bruh. Alright, is this it? No, because it's left-hand drive. Okay, can we go over here? And turn around after that. Oh, and we need to tell LTN what we've got. Make it a pickup station. Here we go. Or not. There we go. Uh, provide stack threshold. Uh, provide threshold 50k. Crude oil provider. And we should be good now. Alright, so that is. Let's see. 2.5 plus 2.2 mil plus 2.6. So what, like, uh, about 8 million crude oil? I think that'll last at least 5 minutes for our cargo rockets. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to need some more storage here, I think. Which means I'd better make the storage chests, actually. I really... I understand why, but I'm a little disappointed that the best storage density, even though we have these nice big chests, uh, the best storage density is to spam the small ones. Unfortunate. Alright, how close are we to sending a rocket over here? Oh, I should add a tag here. It was Granus, wasn't it? Granus I.O. And it is indeed called Granus. Okay. Granus IO is still trying to load hacked cargo rocket sections. Do we not have those in the mall? Hacked? We do not. Okay. Um, it seems we are not making cargo rocket sections at all. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't really want to make a dedicated crafting area for the cargo rocket sections, but maybe I really, really should. Fishlaw, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, in fact, we're going to be stuck with cargo rockets for a long time. I really should do a rail block build to provide exactly stacked cargo rocket sections. Uh, at the moment, though, we're spamming ammo until we reach our quota. I could drop... How much ammo do we have here? Only 86? We've got quite a bit of ammo here. 1.9k. Not as much as... Not a, not a fifth of what we're looking for, though. But things as they are, it's going to take a while before we get our first launch. Alright. I guess let's design a cargo rocket section build. We kind of did already, but... I don't know how portable it would be. Maybe I should just use this? The ratios are going to be a bit off. I think. What uses the iron beams? Storage tanks. Hmm. All right, what's our rate here? Let's see, we are net positive on everything except for slightly behind on iron beams. That's like a 10% drop. But considering that we're way ahead on the storage tanks that need the iron beams, it's probably fine. Which means we can probably just look at the final product. 0 0.025 per sec, 1.5 cargo rocket sections per minute. That's not a whole lot. To say the least. So over an hour to get one cargo rocket. Is it really that slow? Per hour, 90. Yeah, it is. I mean, that might be okay. Per cargo rocket. For a while. But, no. This is going to be such a pain to design, though. I'll copy what I did here for reference, in case I want to borrow from that. So we've got how many inputs? I didn't actually copy the station, but it looks like seven. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, actually. It's seven things that go into here that we have to control inputs for. And we have to feed the system fast inserters directly, which I can do from the mall, but I don't really want the mall having to supply things at scale, which is why we're doing this build in the first place. 
Alright, so we need Iron Plate, Heat Shield, LDS, RCU. Let's make a list. Heat Shield, LDS, Rocket Control Unit. Uh, Advanced Circuits. Steel plate, vent circuit, steel plate, oops, everything that we need for fast inserters, storage tank is basically just iron, pipe is just iron, pump, requires small electric motors and if we're going to make inserters on the spot oh god that's not going to be fun maybe I should mass produce inserters into the rail network what other thing consumes a bunch of inserters So this one's just cargo pods and space manufactories. It's only eight for a space manufactory, which is relatively nothing. Uh, filter inserters, nothing at all. And what about stack inserters? Stack inserters just go into other inserters. about these fancy how do I here we go stack inserter superior inserter okay it looks like it's literally just fast inserters that get spammed into uh, making cargo pods. So I guess we try making these on the spot, which means we need single cylinder inserter parts. We're definitely not doing inserter parts in the rail network. How do we make inserter parts? Okay, so that's a lot of iron and more machines. What a nuisance. Uh, green circuits. Automation cores, do we have those in the rail network? I don't think we do. I don't think they go into enough things. At high volume. Which means we would need to make even more things on the spot. Wait a sec. Oh yeah, because we brought the inserters in. Automation core... And all right, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different physical inputs to make cargo rocket sections. And one, two, let's see, uh, thirteen different machines, or oh, fourteen, including this one.
doesn't lend itself so well to an isolated rail block that has specific inputs and outputs. But on the other hand, maybe, okay, how many inserters do we need for a full cargo rocket? I think it's 200. Uh, and that's not counting productivity bonuses, if we use those. Let's see. Cargo pod needs two fast inserters. And this needs one cargo pod. So four stacks of fast inserters makes an entire rocket. Not counting the recycling. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Let's move the ammo production back here. Since it's not an emergency anymore. Data known. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we're still spamming solar panels. Probably for the best, considering we're spamming space capsules. Yeah, I don't know, like... Okay, how many fast inserters do we have here? 276. And it's like one of the highest priority things that we make, right? Is inserters. I was just checking to see if you were using that crafting combinator mod. Indeed we are. How's it going, data gnome? I was just looking at making a rail block specifically for making cargo rocket sections. But... It is a headache and a half making them with this mod set. Um, we actually need seven, eight, nine, ten different physical inputs and 19 different machines if we were going to make the fast inserters from scratch on the spot. Which has me considering importing them from the mall. But... If we scale up enough, we're actually going to need a dedicated build for fast inserters into the rail network, I guess. Maybe that's not the worst thing that could happen. So if we... Uh, that leaves us with eight inputs, I think. What's missing from this one? Heat shield LDS, those two, iron plate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, that's the same. No, it's not. Iron plate, heat shield, LDS, RCU. RCU is missing from this. Where does the RCU go? Wait, oh, here it is. Hmm. I'm tempted to do a bot build because the machines are quite slow. I can't exactly repeat this pattern down this way. Let's suppose that we bring in all of this from the rail network. Oh, 
We'd have to limit it to one train load of each. Otherwise it'll overfill the containers here. And I would need seven, I mean eight. I would have to control eight inputs from each of these. That's going to be ugly. Alternatively, if I use bots, we can just empty the inputs and put things into storage and stuff. I think that might be the way to go, honestly. I'm really feeling bots with this build. Okay, so... What if we had... Wide area beacon for when we upgrade it later. Theoretically. Where's the middle? There it is. And build it so that we could fit small beacons as well. Definitely want to go for assembly machine threes. Because my goodness these builds are slow. I want to leave room for baby beacons. And should be pretty straight uh, straightforward to be honest. We'll just have Well, I was going to say storages like this. But that's not quite right. I could do requester. Whoops. Uh, requesters every pair. And some storages in between those. I kind of like how that looks. How much storage would that be? Probably way more than enough. These would all have room for outputs, right? Yeah, that works. That works really well, actually. And then we, uh, we could have robo ports. Not quite squeezing in here. Uh, I could make it just a little bit wider. So, like this and like this and I'm pretty sure none of these builds are going to be fast enough uh, none of these uh, individual machines are going to be fast enough that long arm inserters can't keep up oops Alternatively, I could not do that, now that I think of it. It's going to be a neater look this way anyway. Oops. At least five. K2 made it interesting to make the basics of stuff. Uh, interesting is one word we could choose, yes. A 
Okay. So we have room for our beacons. We have room for robo ports. I don't think we need that many, to be honest. Not with the. Not with a build for cargo rocket sections, anyway. Okay. And I'm interested in. Storage and ratios for all of the stuff we need to make here. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a lot to unpack, actually. So if we're not if we're not bringing in fast inserters, well, why don't we just make one of each and see how it looks? I could bring in iron gear wheels from the rail network. Um, but we're not doing iron sticks in the rail network because that's just worse stack density. Yeah, we do have iron gear wheels here because they're pretty high volume in some places. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's our loading going? We are looking for all of the cargo rocket sections still. Well, we're making some at least. Cargo uh, rocket section packed. Okay. Let's see. If possible, I want to avoid having to import fast inserters. So that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Let me just copy this so we can see it. Sticks, inserter parts. Uh, regular in. Sorry, burner inserters, regular inserters, fast inserters. That is... We actually need double inserter parts. If we are to keep up with that. So that's all perfect ratio. I don't think we can prod module any of this, right? Oh, we can prod module iron beams and sticks. Uh, sticks are really fast, iron beams are kind of slow. But it'll keep the same ratio as we give them all speed modules, I think. Um, so then we've got chests, beams, uh, storage tanks and pipes. Iron beam. Storage tank. And pipes. Uh... And then the final three. And this whole row doesn't even have enough room. This whole column, rather. Uh, pump. And then cargo. Rocket section, cargo pod. Cargo, uh, rocket fuel tank. What kind of ratios are we looking at? Very, uh, very, very positive on iron chests. Quite positive on pipe. 
very positive on fast inserters. Everything's positive except for iron beams. Uh, could we do some more of those? That is still slightly negative, actually. Oh, except didn't we figure out... It was storage tank that needs iron beam. Storage tank is way positive. Storage tank is extremely positive, actually. So I think the one iron beam machine is enough to keep up. I was muted. Uh, but yeah, I was just saying iron beams don't actually have to keep up because the storage tanks are way faster than ratio. And that's the only thing the iron beams are going into. Okay. Um... So can I possibly make something resembling a good ratio here? What if I double this? What does it look like? Still positive on everything except for beams? And still way positive? I should probably simulate this. Uh, still way positive on... Okay, still a little bit positive on storage tanks. No, way positive, actually. Uh, let's see. 0.4167 over 0.083. It's five times faster than it needs to be. But iron sticks that are prerequisite... Iron beams that are a prerequisite for that are actually... Um, 2.083 divided by 0 0.625. Three and a third times. Okay. It's still actually pretty good. I don't think we can add this one more time, can we? Iron beams. Uh, 2.083. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Oh no, yeah, it's still the same ratio. We're still really positive on storage tanks. And I've actually got room to add iron beams up here if I need to. So I think that is maybe pretty close to our build. So we're going to do, uh, I guess, requester chests that are going to be the combination of these two. So we need vent circuit, iron chest, pipe. It should probably be buffer chests so that the robot network knows we have them. So that we can read from the robot network. Whoops. Uh, to decide what to ask LTN for. Build's actually going to look a lot neater than I would have feared in the end.
Okay, and then we've just pretty much got the tedious job of setting all the requests. Um, I want to request a bit more than one train load of everything here. I think the rate of consumption of pretty much all of this is going to be fairly slow. Except for iron plate, 60 per second. We should have room to request a couple of train loads of everything. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, what have we got? 96 stacks. Each of these chests represents more than one train load of storage that we could have. Despite the fact that we have to request lots of different things. And I went and got rid of the list. Whoops. Um, I think there was like eight different resources we need to request from the rail network. Uh, so like 16 train loads of stuff. Maybe more. But we've got room for... 52 in these chests. So I'm not too worried about that. And I'm pretty sure it'll be slow enough that 50 logistic bots can keep up. So we don't have to worry about bot attrition. Alright. Uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of setting requests for this. Why is there a pump and nothing down here? Did I actually include everything? I think so. I could always just add more iron beams just to be sure. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll flesh that out off stream because it's going to be a a little bit of a long and tedious process, just setting the requests and stuff, and testing it and everything. How's our build down here doing? We're still waiting on cargo, cargo rocket sections. Seems like we've only ever got a couple of packed ones. Do we not have heat shielding now? We don't have heat shielding now. What happened to heat shielding now? Oh no. Oh no, we're missing inserters over here. And I'm guessing, yeah, we're definitely not getting it from Nalvis. Okay, glad I checked on that. Let's bring our construction train over here. And hopefully it can just straight up get it done. Let's have a look. We are missing long arm inserters and nothing else. And that's our heat shielding LVS that we didn't finish a while ago. That might be kind of necessary to make cargo rocket sections. Maybe just a little bit. Products finished one. Fantastic. Okay. That's definitely going to help. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. How are we doing? How are whoops. We doing? Whoops, whoops. There we go. It's looking like a pretty quiet day. Okay. Uh, it's been a minute since I dropped in on Mucky. Let's do that.
Okay, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow and the day after, we'll be continuing with SEK2. Take care, Evil Pla, Mr. Jinx. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. And uh, say hello to Mucky for me. Oh, our train just got back. Alright, take care, guys. That sink, take care as well. That pronunciation. That's what I heard. It's not on the schedule. It's not on the schedule.